Pip Pip Cheerio. Nasty Trolls have got to go. Who do you think would say something like Pip Pip Cheerio, Nasty Trolls have got to go? Not Madison Starmoon, I guess. She's not clever enough for that, right? It's a little bit of, little bit of Madison Starmoon, though. So... Fucking Piers Morgan. It's a Piers Morgan bullshit. So. PTS the Discord. Fuck, I'm in there. I chat with people there almost every day. Ah, oh, fuck, that's Liam on this. I went on his show yesterday and he's been a guest on my show. Fuck, there's Alex. Apostate Alex has been on our show to fucking talk about the Scientology organ um, in, in in London and fucking I guess this is Miss, Mrs. J who's like always in the channel and fucking helps us on research and stuff and um, strangely enough I'm missing from this little collection of fucking people these people aren't oh Mrs. J might be a troll <laughs> but Alex is not a troll apostate Alex is not a troll and uh, Liam uh, who does the uh, like broke off from all this to do a channel about uh, cults and online influence that I was on yesterday. Not a troll. Fucking very nice guy. One of the nicest people I've met uh, doing uh, this kind of work. But don't worry. Something called Coffee Cults and Crafts has decided that these people are trolls. Now, I am unsure whether or not uh, we, not me, whether or not I come up in this. I do know that um, that I, I came up on the Aaron Smith Levin channel and um, it doesn't bother me terribly that that my government name is on here this is um would be trivial my facebook is wide open here's aaron on me dave litton from echoplex media is also a malignant osa influenced cringe factory and then yeah i've never done anything on dave because he's so irrelevant and worthless he's not even worth the time oh i don't i just think this guy i in fact i know that he doesn't want to deal with us we wouldn't do anything illegal. We wouldn't brigade him. We wouldn't harass his people. But if he like tried to send his people after us, wouldn't be our first rodeo. And his people are fucking stupid. And uh, I found out he has a Facebook group. And I'm thinking about how, ways in which we could cover it in goats. But I'll, more on that, never, actually. So here's this video by Coffee, Cults, and Crafts. Um... Pip, pip pip cheerio nasty trolls have got to go and tag an alex and mrs j mrs j might be a troll i'm fine with that mrs j is always in the chat she's she definitely she might be a troll and all gravy baby i came out of trolling i only did this i only did the show in any sort of meaningful way osha operation that's that's osa OSA, but OSHA is funny too because that's the Occupational Safety and Health Administration or something like that. Like, so. anyway, we're gonna see. We're gonna see what kind of complaints. Oh, I have comments too on my on my YouTube sock. My YouTube sock's been getting a little spicy. An OSHA shell. <laughs> I'm sorry to bring everybody back to this, but like there, it was like outside of the election, it was such a slow news week, and we had to do something tonight. Hello from the dung heap, everybody. <laughs> oh, I like her dogs. <laughs> a lot of Hi, them. friends. <laughs> there he is. Hi, sweetie. Yeah. Hello. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Why is there a... <clears throat> oh, never mind. Uh, your dildos are useless. They're made of... They're crocheted. Crocheted Good dildos don't work. Live. Hello! <laughs> because Mrs. JB trolling people. Trolling is... Uh, if done right, trolling is funny and subversive. Right? Like, I'm, I'm a troll. The, whole, the scene here is a little bit trolly. Majority reports a little bit trolly in some ways. Like it's just a funny and subversive way to interact with uh, people more powerful than you on the internet. Hopefully, people more powerful. Oh no, she's not trolling. I mean, she could. I don't care. Mrs. J can make fun of me. I hope Mrs. J comes in here and makes fun of me tonight. 
Keep your dildo warm. No, but you have to wash your dildo before you walk, before you use it. At least I hope everybody knows that. Please light a joint. Ah. Hello. Happy Saturday. I forgot this person exists. Her name is Marilyn, I guess. Aromatherapy today. So I got my pumpkin spice candle from Yankee Candle Company. Oh, hi, everybody. I need to calm the frig down. Why? <laughs> pip, pip, cheerio, everybody. Hello, hello. Hi. So, uh... <laughs> she asked uh, the AI what, what candles to order. <laughs> you follow all AI's uh, advice, it makes you basic. I'm so sorry. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm almost 10 minutes late. Hi, everybody. I had some technical difficulties, but I figured it out. Poor George. I was like in the background. It's like my bra was like falling down. I'm like, what? The? And I'm like swearing and I'm like, I can't get this, this slideshow to work. And I'm just, blah. but here we are. Here we are. <laughs> Better late than ever. So, hi. Hi. Hi, Marilyn. It's been a crazy couple of days. So, I like how um, some, I, so people do this. They use, um, <clears throat> I think she's recording this on StreamYard or Zoom, but she doesn't have a guest. No, like um, she puts her own name down there. Should I put my own name on my fucking shit? Days. Yeah. Um, as most of you know, uh, I am on a mission. I'm on a mission because to do to, to what um, to talk shit about people. I mean, that's part of my mission and myself and my kids were messed with by these trolls. Who <clears throat> no, no, are. nobody messed with your kids. Get the, this has got big Madison star moon energy already. <clears throat> Madison don't got kids, but she's like, they're messing with my family. And it's like, no, we love your mom and dad. They uh, fucking, uh, we've watched videos of you try to tell your dad about chemtrails. And he makes fun of you. Uh, I keep connecting the dots. It's getting more and more like, you know, the red string, beautiful mind thing going on. And um, last night I was very upset and disappointed to see that apostate Alex had done a stream with Liam who, uh, I think he had already done. Yo, Apostate Alex was on this channel. Who is or what? Oh, that's yeah. right. We don't put those on YouTube. Well, I put the interview on YouTube. But yeah, we don't live stream that shit to YouTube because uh, I don't want to get kicked off of YouTube because there's like a Baphomet titty or something. Commented that I found on YouTube. That I guess he. This was the first time he streamed with Liam. Liam hasn't um isn't in the Discord anymore, as far as he knows. Well, you know. I haven't heard anything about that. No one comes out and explains things or says, hey, guys. Hey, lady, I'll explain all of this to you. Should I try to get on Marilyn's show and be like, listen, if you can be calm and chill and I fucking, I don't know, show up when you say you're going to, I can ex kind of explain what's going on if you'd like. I made a mistake. You know, um, all I ever hear about Alex is like, he does good work. You know, he does good work. I don't know why people don't like him. He does good work. I Alex is actually, that. Alex, if people who don't know, Apostate Alex has been a guest on this show and he does hang out uh, in this. I heard uh, from a little birdie that he may hang out in the chat sometime, sometimes under a pseudonym. Who knows? Um, he does good work. In the UK, uh, he has been talking to like ministers of parliament about Scientology, possibly, hopefully getting like their charity status revoked and, and other stuff like that. He's actually doing good work when they do a protest, they plan it for weeks and they have like, they do, they do it correctly. Like he's doing good work. I still think that he's fighting against a dying boogeyman, but he's doing it correctly. That's good work. Okay. Please, everyone, please put a one in the chat. If you think that Alex has done good work, okay, I'm gonna put it one in the chat. You are. What if he's done? Okay. And so Alex you're just mad that he went on Liam's show because Liam ran the Discord, and then that's all. That's all you're mad. You know, Alex, you are welcome. The, the things that I have done, the shade that I have thrown, the back channel stuff that I have done to try to disrupt Aaron Smith Levin. Because that's all this is about, is that these people are uh, critical of Aaron Smith-11. You're not blocked from my channel. You're welcome in the chat. I'll even send you a 
a uh, what do you call it? A link later if you'd like to come on and defend yourself. But uh, oh shit! I wish I would have been up in the chat. I'd be like, I can explain, I can explain everything that's going on to you. You want to want to shoot me an email? Excellent, excellent. Thank you for all those ones. Alex does good work. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I said put a one in the chat, not a Rodney, but that works too because it looks like a one. I get they're just not coming um, for us, dude. No, I'm there, they, 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 I think they know about Lady B miniatures and they're like, I don't want to argue with that lady. She'll win. Two in, okay, we all established, right, that Alex does good work. Okay, please put a two in the chat if you know exactly what that work is. Okay, I'm I do. I'm waiting. I've had him on to ask him. <laughs> we watched some of the London, the thing about the London org, and he went along with the format of the show and made fun of the stuff going on at the London org with us. That's not his style, but he came on and, you know, rolled with the punches and had fun. And he talked a little bit about what he does and how he organizes protests and how he tries to interface with the government, RE Scientology. He says he has good relationships with the cops. I mean, I don't know. I don't fucking fuck the cops. I think I even said that, but like, I don't know if he's doing protests and he, I don't, like, he seems it's, he's doing the, the hard part, actually. I don't know how effective it is. That's not for me to say, but he seems to be doing it in a fucking I don't know, in a, a respectability politics sort of way, which I, I mean, whatever. Okay. Uh, any twos? Come on. Any takers? I'm waiting. Do you know what that is? Come on. Okay. Well, we do. Okay. He does good work. Then. Okay. So Aaron um, did a video complaining about the people that fucking criticize him, but it's seven fucking hours long and we're not watching it. Is there anybody else that does good work? Okay. Wait, did wait, did chat. Marilyn is she is she a former Scientologist? Is she I thought she was a never I don't even know. Fucking who cares? For all I know, she was part of the fucking unification church, the Moonies. If you know somebody else that does good work. Oh, you do know. Okay, ish. All right, you know some of the things. Thank you, Julie. That's fair. A couple people do. Oh, we know some other people that know that do. Wouldn't it be work? great if she was like who and everybody was like, "Gay Dave, Gay Dave, Gay Dave does the best work on all of this." He did so good. He did such good work that he dropped the microphone, more or less. Wait, what? What? Are you saying? Oh, like some kind of Christian sect? And Alex isn't the only one that does good work. I'm not sure we're voting on. Bye, bye, Leah. <laughs> I feel like I should. I feel like. I feel like. She's kind of giggly and bubbly like the media wench. So I feel like maybe it would be better to send the media wench to talk to this lady. All right. Okay. There are people that do good work as well. Okay. Thank okay. You. Good. Lots of people do good work. Okay. So far, so good. Thank you. Okay. All right. Um, I want to show you some people that aren't doing good work. Fuck yeah. Please show me. I'm going to be fucking hell mad if the first thing that comes up isn't my face. And that is uh, one thing is, is this is Mrs. J, a.k.a. Abby James. And oh, Doc's and Mrs. J. Maybe maybe you think she is. So let's uh, let's look and see. Let's look, see and see what you guys think if she's doing good work or not. OK, um, this is Abby James. This is what she looks like. This is Abby James. She has a channel. It's I am. So she Mrs. J clearly understands that as soon as you start showing your face on the Internet that it's trivial to find out your government name and unfortunately all kinds of other things about you mrs james and her TikTok, which we're going to look at is uh i am the mrs james i believe um okay so uh aaron the karen hopefully the comic you have not seen that <laughs> but they like to call him karen see this is kind of trolly right but this is good obviously uh, what we call this good trouble and the Karen. This is from Mrs. J. When y'all were calling him K A Ron, K A A Ron, or what? We also called him Q A Ron, if you remember. James's TikTok. Okay. Uh, SPTV Foundation first attempt fail. All right. Uh -huh. oh, Stripe account. What did Aaron Smith Levin say next? Oh, that's nice. Um, the SPTV Foundation. So she's promoting their yes. TikTok so far. This the is pretty comic. good. Oh, she has a whole comic about it. The dumpster fire. So what? A, you know what's interesting? She's not showing the videos she's not going to in any way address any of the claims in the videos uh the claims in these videos are like I don't, like 
kind of crowdsourced from the Discord. Like, m things that I've said, probably, almost sure, I haven't watched all these. But things that I've said probably show up in these videos. Oh, the EIN number. Grant money from Aaron Smith Levin's personal bank account. Um, Somebody praise the void, SPT. Because that's not true. That's not true. So doesn't the UK have some libel laws that are... So check this out. She didn't show us the videos. She's like, oh, the, the thing that I'm interpreting from the thumbnail of the video. I mean, she's, and I mean, she may or may not have watched these videos, but she's not showing the audience these videos that are pretty strict, oh, more strict a hail than, void. than America. And uh, what say you, Alex? You know, I would love to hear from you because if you are about to say, "Will um, you know, do your little doe-eyed innocent thing," what um, the fuck? You know what? I'm sick of the Oliver Twist doe-eyed innocent bullshit. So, lamp boobs. My, my my hypothesis here is that there almost isn't really. <laughs> so, I mean, they got money. This is, I mean, what did I, I've, I'm right about this. The boogeyman is dying. And so these people, and I'm guilty of this, what I'm doing right now, I'm doing it too, right? And my Scientology, Scientology coverage has mostly been about the anti-Scientology community. I'm not immune from the thing I'm describing. I'm doing it too. I'd say I'm probably doing it better than anybody else. Um, but I'm doing it too. Like when the boogeyman dies, the people that were fighting the boogeyman all end up fighting each other. It's like, oh, please, master. Can I have some more porridge? Like, cut the shit, okay? Can I you have some know more porridge? He's trying to Oliver twist our boy Alex. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, I, although I do have half a mind to make a Oliver Twist memes about Alex now because it's kind of funny. You badmouth Aaron to everyone you meet, so don't give me that bullshit, Alex Barnes Ross. Don't. And you know I've what? talked to Alex a lot, and very little of what we've said has been about Aaron. Actually, hey, people can say oh, I'm not. Well, I, I, you can't George prank Massey call people like on Twitch about survivors. About you have to like obey the like two party consent rules and stuff, and tell them that you're broadcasting and stuff, or you get kicked off of Twitch immediately. Mike Rinder and all them, you know, and you know what? Yeah, he does. And he brings receipts and he's respectful. He's a little cheeky because, you know, he is British, right? But he's respectful and he's doing it. As so a good cheeky, person. I don't think she knows what that means. That generally means kind of flirty. Like cheeky generally means kind of innocent, funny, flirty, like non threatening flirty. I, I don't think apostate Alex seems flirty. of his heart to give people like miriam a voice and you know what guess what i'm not distancing myself i'm not like well i'm not responsible for what george massey does yeah you know what i am because he represents my channel as well okay well, that's stupid there are a handful of people that represent that can like um the media wench and me we have I, despite what it might seem like, I love HK and I'm glad he's a co-host on here. Uh, the councilman, love the councilman, glad he's a co-host on here. Uh, if we ever revamp local love, Chip is a fun local love host. No, those those three people, they don't they don't speak for us. The media wench and me are the only ones with access to anything that officially speaks for us. She's like probably talking about somebody who moderates her channel. Now, I do, obviously, if you're posting my memes and, you know, if people know that you're from my community, if you go to other fucking channels, you fucking better fucking be cool to everybody there to the extent that it is possible or appropriate. But you don't represent me. And I really, I, I, I'm back him. I back him. I am supportive of him. I will own what he does because he's a friend of mine and I think he's good work. He's doing good work. Put is, he, is he a friend of yours or is he a colleague? Chad, if you think Giorgio is doing good work. 
people make fun of me about this, but yeah, fucking like who's in here that there's no streamers in here right now, but like, uh, Justin, my colleague, redolent thought, my colleague, Hildy, Hildy, I had such a good time with her and I wish I could call her my friend. Hildy was my colleague. Like these are, these, these people are all my colleagues. These are not your, this is not your, these people are not your fucking friend lady. I'm sorry guys. If I'm triggering anybody, please, you know, you're welcome to leave. <clears throat> I'm, fucking mostly annoyed I'm stealing juice and ketchup oh you're stealing juice and ketchup because well, i'm going up to dad's cabin to bring oh, mcdonald's okay. i'm yelling at the trolls that oh. were us uh, talking shit i know you're not you. <laughs> that's Bye, how i, I feel you. about the trolls i love my mom i didn't disown her and i'm terribly abused obviously that's why i come back and steal her ketchup wait what okay love you, honey. i love you bye, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this sucks. Yeah, more than four this is the worst takedown video I've ever seen. Minutes in. I love you, baby. The Star Moon video where she tried to do a takedown of us is way better. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, you don't want to miss with her. You don't want to get her pissed off. <laughs> oh, I need some more pumpkin spice aroma. Uh, I have to do something controversial. I don't want to start a fight. I know you don't have to, but I keep the ketchup in the fridge anyway. He says hi. Oh. she is sassy <laughs> i would have messed with her i'm i'm afraid of her <laughs> ceiling ketchup yep <laughs> that's right but you know she disowned me but she likes my kid like who said that did anybody say that i don't even know who the fuck this lady is yeah fridge ketchup right. is better it's like when the, when like on a like a hot burger if the ketchup and mayo are cold and the the fucking and the the fucking lettuce and everything is like cold. It's like a it's different. It, it hits different. You George for it's not gotta, about hygiene. Gotta, it's about the way that gotta, burger hits. Let's go back to our little slideshow. Okay, okay, dumpster fire. Oh, it gets better, guys. It's just lovely, lovely. Right, but oh, okay. Whoops, I gotta go this way. Okay, so she did a um a little presentation recently about the second gens calling Aaron a piece of shit and you see the dog shit and uh -huh. literally Aaron you're a total piece of okay I mean I called him that yeah I I don't know did I call him a piece of shit I mean like not into my writing and uh this is a I hope she brings up a screenshot of lovely, one of my articles lovely. or something my god uh, Abby James she's so lovely I work I'm the only one who even fucking and like no shade to anybody else but i'm the i'm the i'm the fucking i'm the idiot of record on all this at this point so is so is Marilyn, and i can tell you right now Ooh, cornbread is really good surge Ooh, the, you know what if the, you, like you know when the cornbread is so good you don't even need any honey or fucking butter for it always been on good terms they would never call me that i mean that's just bull bullshit Okay. Um, this was when I was accused of being a cyber bully before I was accused of being a child, a child abuser. Um, this is all fucking, this is all probably shit. Dear, Zero dark. Tony's dumbass was saying, and I was really upset at being accused of driving somebody almost to the brink of unaliving themselves. And my channel wasn't even cold in the ground before she starts doing all these did she lose a channel i don't know anything don't forget your coat on the way out marilyn i just heard that one of them talked about me and now i'm like oh let's go back into this fucking beehive chaser 101 uh one of the nastiest women i've ever witnessed on youtube oh my pearls um okay i'm the nastiest woman all you got to do to drag me back into your fucking bullshit is talk about me Oh, I bet to definitely like a, I bet that movie Mean Girls. I'm like them. Okay. Oh, all right. What's next? What's next? Oh, don't forget your coat on the way out. Uh, this was the other video she did of me, Marilyn Honig. For the rest of your life, these red. Why aren't you showing? Follow. These are TikTok oh, videos. These right. are like a minute. Why aren't you showing the content? Nice nice okay the rest of my life okay so i'm gonna make sure abby Jane people complain sometimes they're like oh all you do is make fun of other people's content but look, you look at this at least i'm showing the content that i'm making fun of my god well um uh, cyber bully marilyn honig attacks youtube moderator ellie okay and then we got a whole list oh oh what's this okay here's another uh little piece of i mean i was on that show yesterday 
So that was Mrs. J. And now we have uh, Paste Alex hanging out with Liam. Now, you might well, no, know. No, he went on his show to talk about what he, I wasn't, I didn't go hang out with Liam, right? Or we did that great interview with Noel on Friday. Did Noel hang out with me on Friday? No, she's a banger interview guest. Fucking one of my best interviews. What up? Our TRJ. We're down this rabbit hole again. I'm sorry. Or I don't know. It was, I don't know. It's fun. It's like a it's like a it's like a it's like a warm dirt blanket. Liam from um uh, the PTS the disc. Funny you ask about beers and shooting darts. Uh, my my roommate or I guess my landlord Shane, he's like big into darts. There's like a really nice dart board and like all kind of darts and shit in the garage. And there's a beer fridge there. But no. No, I didn't invite, invite um, Noel to do that with me. He took over for Michelle Carpenter. And um, Nora actually did. He had offered to go on a live with me. And Nora offered to do it. And I absolutely let her do it because she's stronger than I am. And she was she was willing to, to face him. She wiped the floor with him. and then No, she just yelled at him. We had Liam on, like, he stayed up all night to come on our Cults and Satanic Panic show after that happened. <clears throat> she yelled at him. That's all. She just yelled at him and accused him of things. <laughs> and <clears throat> and then when she attempt when Nora attempted to, or thought she was going to do that to me, she didn't show up to try to do that to me. And the reason she didn't show up to do that to try to, me, do, to do that to me is because I think she was warned off by someone. I think somebody was like, hey, you're not really going to be able to do that to this guy. And then guess what happened? Guess what happened? So she did her stream with him. She wiped the floor with him. She was defending herself and the second gens and all of us supporters of the, all the nasty. No, she she yelled at him. Right? She was be and willing to be aggressive. And Liam, by nature, you, you watch the video I was on with him yesterday. You can just tell by like listening to him talk that his nature is not to be confrontational or aggressive. And that's fine. Those are good people, right? You want to be friends with people who aren't going to be like, confrontational and aggressive like if you go to a bar you don't want to go to, you're like oh all my friends are real confrontational and aggressive let's go get drunk at a bar and he was oh she's a woman her. we don't want to know we don't have to put in quotes and he was just being you know very evasive well she got hit with a copy or no a she got hit with a privacy complaint we've heard of that because recently that's happened to aaron quite a few times in the past because they keep publishing like personal it's not illegal but they keep publishing like personal information about people you're not allowed to do that on YouTube. You're just not. Like anything other than somebody, you can say somebody's government name. If you find out someone, but you start talking about their address, what city they live in, like start talking about their family, start talking about where they hang out, maybe. Like all that shit, YouTube's going to nail you for that. Like, right? Because you don't want somebody going on there and being like, oh, Dave, gay, gay Dave from Echoplex Media. Boy, howdy, if there's a Ruffy show at the caravan. I don't know if you want it, you know, you could maybe go there if you don't like Dave. A few days and she, they an extreme her, example, took but her um, video down. So she edited it and uploaded it and it's on, it's on Nora's channel under the videos. And she put like a big, I don't know, some kind of like cartoon character or something on his face, but you can tell it's him. It's his voice. And, and that's all not, that. no, she was showing, she got, She was not just reading emails she got from people, but giving out their email address by showing the email on the screen. Email addresses are easy to find. YouTube doesn't want you giving out people's fucking email addresses. If I gave out the email address for my guest, YouTube would be fine with that. Because that was my guest. So I want to show you um, Liam's channel. Um, he okay. Is a, he has like a hundred subscribers. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I mean, we don't have any subscribers on YouTube because we get kicked you know, off. He but. endorsed all this terrible trolling as a therapist. Oh, let me. Whoops, sorry. Back as a therapist. Up. Oh, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Look at that. Oh, she. Oh, is she gonna talk about me? As look at we appeared. We appear. 
up in their fucking algorithms now. Let's go. Okay. So that's his channel. It's called Breaking the Chains, Cults and Beyond. And uh, he has 118 subs, so it looks like he's new. And uh, yeah, Breaking the Chains, and he's a therapist. Now, seriously? Seriously, dude? I'm not sure that he's a therapist specifically. I know he works in the mental health field, but I didn't ask him like his job title. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't think he's a therapist. I don't know. I'll show you one more thing. Now look at the list. Let me see if I can blow it up a little bit. So his latest interviews were uh, a few days ago. He's got Catherine Olson. He's got Alex, the UK's most wanted SC, which that's debatable. Um, and guess who's cup guess who's upcoming? Echoplex Media speaks out about online influence. Okay. So who's this guy? Echoplex Media. Let's look it up. They're gonna so look at my YouTube channel, right? Echoplex Media. And I just happened to find a video of him. Little clip. I'll play a little bit of it and I will comment and I will have my face on there. Wait, what? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Aaron, isn't it? Interesting? This is great. I didn't know I was this. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah. We're getting in their algorithms. Interesting. So the guy who led the SPTV discord hate group is now interviewing all the aftermath foundation folks interesting isn't it interesting and actually alex just commented but those aren't the after none of those people were the aftermath found i'm not in the aftermath foundation fucking apostate alex is on a whole ass other continent not in the aftermath foundation on my community post that as far as he knows is she gonna forget she was talking about me am i like a fucking am i like an enigma where she's just gets get like fucking where she started trying to talk about me and then it was like that fucking pen thing from men in black where it just like wipes her mind that i even exist um um is no longer on the discord did he make a statement to that effect has he has he renounced it has he apologized to the victims has he he hasn't apologized to me I so the problem here and we end up talking about this a lot the problem here is <clears throat> these people that she's our victims of this well no these people are mostly public figures I accept the I accept that uh, being a public figure that Aaron Smith Levin is going to say my government name on his channel if people bring me up because it's fucking trivial to find out my government name. I think I've even made fun of him in a Facebook group using my government name. A Facebook group that he's in. Like but when you start going public and making like claims, some of these people it's tying in with Jamie Mustard, those weird shots. Start making claims about those, you start you start your own YouTube channel, like you do any of these things, and now you're gonna now you're subject to criticism. I mean, anybody's subject to criticism, but now you're putting out content that you're encouraging people to watch, and some people are gonna not like it, and some people are going to criticize you. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, he's apologized to you, Aaron, or anybody else, or Nora, Liz Gale, Liz Ferris, everyone. Nope. No, but we're supposed to just Liz Ferris drop these people like a bad habit, if I'm not mistaken. Alex is word for it because he's the most wanted SP in the UK. He's doing good work and, you know, um, his channel's under attack. He's under attack. <laughs> OK, whatever, Alex. Now, I want to show you another thing here. So this is where I found. If she skips over us, I'm going to die laughing. Echoplex Media. Interestingly enough, the clip was on the one of one of the two uh, fake SBTV Foundation. Oh, this is such a this this clip is hot. One that they had that they still have up um, is a backup in case their other one gets struck again, which it could. This clip is well. hot. So there's this, and I'm gonna. I'm housed uh, in this clip. Check I don't this out. Give them a view, but I'm I am gonna give them. A couple of seconds of this let's see okay so this is echoplex media i think his name's dave and he's talking about nora and then he mentions aaron smith levin and jamie mustard and how he's picking fights with them and he's proud of it <laughs> save her 
Um, I ignore what he's saying. Now, I, I'm mostly kidding. I don't really have any desire to help her, but I would like to talk to her because, like, this is a, what she's doing here is detrimental to her. And if she's in a long term relationship, it's probably detrimental to her long term relationship. Really? So we're going to give uh, advice. We're going to give relationship advice, dude. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me go back. I don't, I'm going to this up a little bit. Okay. So far as I can tell, uh, her partner didn't have anything to do with any of this, which is good. But there, there are ways in which this stuff like destroys people's relationships. Um, <laughs> so, but maybe if he didn't have to move, like, oh, she what skipped over the part where I explained how it's like hard to fucking date and shit when you like fucking work on the dystopia beat and you have to, then you're exposed to all this stuff because like relating to like, reg oh, she missed the fucking, that's the good part. She's like, oh, I'm going to skip this part. That's the good part or maybe for me because i'm like so far down the rabbit hole um but the things like what she's doing is bad for her and bad for the people around her she doesn't need to be doing any of this she has a youtube community that gives her money to talk. <gasps> whoa youtube community gives nora money i didn't know that <laughs> she works for it but she just goes around picking fights with people and i mean i do that too <laughs> I'm trying to pick a fight with Nora right now. Okay. What, who else are you picking fights with? I'm also trying I'm also trying to pick a fight with uh Jamie Mustard and like eternally trying to pick a fight with uh Aaron Smith Levin. Oh, eternally. Fuck, I might be trying to pick a fight with somebody I haven't met yet and I don't even know it. I've been trying to pick a fight with the Weinsteins. I'm trying to pick a fight with a lot of people for a while. But like I I'm like aware of what I'm doing. It seems like she thinks that she's fighting some kind of good fight with what she's doing. And I can't quite see the the good fight that she's picking. All right. Well, Lady B's like, oh, obviously know everything. Scientology, the organization where everybody gets their own fucking building. And so he's saying basically everybody's fighting each other because there's no Scientology left and everybody gets their own building because there's only 60 something year old people left. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's what. I'm, yes. Yes. There's, you know, there's nothing to fight. So. These are the people that <clears throat> Alex has one degree of separation with one degree of separation. And he, I mean, is it zero degrees of separation with Alex? I mean, we we're not like homies. We don't talk every day and shit. I can message Alex right now, but that's fucking because we're colleagues. We have the same job more or less. Mine's probably more fun. Little list. <laughs> excuse me so yeah don't miss it guys he's next up after uh <laughs> after Catherine olsen and alex Fuck yeah alex barnes ross we have this ecoplex guy that that attacks survivors <laughs> i didn't so, attack anybody i'm not attacking anybody i hate the word attack being used in this way it's just incredibly dramatic yeah i think that's about what i wanted to show you today so what's the um, next hour of this video about and i will go through all your Dude, i'm so nice and again anybody see alex in the chat no well no you're george have you seen why alex would... in the chat oh i wish i would have been in that man i can explain all this to you lady i know you don't like me i can explain all this to you you seem like way nicer than nora too i feel like we could actually have a conversation I don't have. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's basically just saying, fuck, she's just doing a Dan Badondi, right? Echoplex Media, boo. I don't know. I tell her I like her ketchup. I don't know. Is that weird to say? I probably. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll talk. I talk to Marilyn. See him. Let him know. I'm thinking of him and I'm happy to give him a, a link so he can come on and defend himself. But, you know, he won't because that's not what his channel is about. No, that's not. A, that's apostate. Alex does not get in arguments with people. The only person on fucking our side of this shit that'll get in an argument with you who has any content out there for you to talk about is me, but I'm good at it. Not only am I good at it, but I've like done all the work. I have like the only fucking, I have two articles, one called for Aaron's removal from the aftermath foundation, but the more recent one 
is like a fucking timeline of what happened after I did that. Everything that fucking happened after that. And it's good. And I remember all of it because I've been over it 500 fucking times. Because I wanted the article to be good and I had copy editors helping me and stuff. So. What is your channel about harboring all these uh, trolls and haters and, and, you know, slanderers? Come on. What is your channel really about? Clout? Uh, me. She's just. She thinks they're all me. My channel is about harboring trolls and haters. Everybody in this channel, I don't know. You don't come here to not crack jokes about people you don't like, right? That's all of you. You're the trolls and haters. <clears throat> this is such big fucking Madison Star Moon energy, right? Like, this is so, this is so very much like... Every show from Kaku was on there posting all their garbage. How is what she's saying here any different than the way Madison Star Moon talks about the people that don't believe in chemtrails and have decided that her content is quite funny and that they make fun of it? Oh, in your face, trolls. This is what she thinks she's doing right now, right? Pretty soon she'll be all. Gay Dave is a fucking freak. He's a kaku whore and I despise him. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Here's growing up. It's like a fucking errand down here. Uh, David Echoplex is one troll who is so sad. Like, how, I'm sorry. You get rid of this, right? You make it Madison Star Moon. Uh, time for tinfoil. Thank you for the raid. You get rid of fucking growing up in Scientology here and you make this shit Madison Star Moon. David Echoplex is one troll who is so sad and pathetic. I've never given him the honor of mentioning him. I can tell he really wishes I would, right? But this is like this. Nobody's listening to your show. You guys are crazy. This facade, this charade of a poor excuse for a radio show. It's literally the same fucking thing. Thank you for the raid tin, by the way, and welcome in any newbies. Like, this lady, this is just fucking straight mad. Like, now Aaron's getting in on the Madison Star Moon thing. Maybe she, maybe Aaron's going to be like, Don't look at my page, it's private. Like, like, yo, this is so Madison Star Moon pilled. These people don't even know who Madison Star Moon in and is. And this is, these people are like. You haven't donated a single fucking second of your time. You haven't done shit. <laughs> Ashley, big ups to you, Ashley. Wouldn't it be funny if all these people end up liking the media when she's like, ah, the girl on there is nice. Growing up in Scientology, Dave at Echoplex is one troll who is so sad and pathetic. I've never given him the honor of mentioning him in a video. I can tell he really wishes I would. Yeah, don't don't bother. And I never have either. I don't know who he is. Uh, uh, you know. Oh, do these people? <laughs> excuse me. I have some own personal trolls that I never mention either. Still to this day. Um, one was like some some old guy that like got well, that's me. booted out of the comic the comic book uh community. And you know what's funny is like Michelle Carpenter, she got uh booted out Must of the investigate false flag community. We just have all these like she just played a clip of me and skipped the best part. I I'm I'm, I'm, I'm offended. Fit trolls here at SBTV. It's pretty funny. Thank you, Carrie. Our lawyer friend, Carrie. I have a lawyer friend, Carrie. I'm sorry now. Oh, this is pilled. This is fucking pilled. Oh, I've worked with child survivors of uh, sexual assault. Well, that has nothing to do with this. Good for you. You're doing the good work. Hopefully, hopefully you're doing it. I presume that this person does good work if, in fact, that is their job. Who knows? Maybe they think they're doing that on the fucking on a Telegram group. Having worked with many child essay survivors, these attacks are disgusting. Yeah, it's just... And you know what? It's like, I understand people are like, don't feed the trolls. And I'm sure, you know, the lady, I'll come on and talk to you. Like, again, this, I would, I'm not, I wouldn't even have to like have my guard up talking to her. I think I could kind of explain what the fuck's going on and why, like, like a lot of people don't like it. Like, I could totally do that. I don't, I wouldn't, I don't think either, either of us would get angry at each other. Her chat would be pissed. People are mad at me because I'm drama or whatever. I'm sorry. Enough's enough. Enough is enough. Just, you know, we've been ignoring that. Yeah, that's it's eight, pilled, ten, right? It's like you know, QAnon kind of oozed over so everything. So we know who they are. Some of them are sort of ex-friends-ish of mine. I'm going to keep going, dude. You know, until the Aftermath Foundation makes a public statement, 
distancing themselves from these people and Alex too. Oh, I should get fuck it. I've been meaning to have Mark Headley and Claire on to talk about. I, I want to talk like I don't think Mark and Claire have told the fucking story of their escape yet. <laughs> or not yet but like in a long time so when i have them on everybody's gonna be like oh it's gonna be drama and it's just gonna be the boringest interview in the world of them telling the story of how they escaped again <laughs> i've got i'll be right back i, I need so another drink material. i could just keep going and if you don't want me to get views then denounce the trolls that's all there is to it that's all there is to it because people are pissed that's why they're here watching that's why you know they don't want yeah, the island of misfit trolls. That's basically what it is. <laughs> you know, sorry, I'm <laughs> I'm just gonna smell my candle. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, I will I will go through your comments. <laughs> sorry, I was like, oh snap, pip pip cheerio. <laughs> I know. Come on. The jig is up. Give me a break. I'm so confused. I thought Alex just wanted everyone to be on the same team. Yeah. Well, he can prove it. He can prove it. Lathanda. Hey, Lathanda. Hello, 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 my lovely fellow SP ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between and outside. Thank you, Lathanda. I love you. Everyone's so, so chipper today. Lazada to, to Aaron. Alex wants, wants to be on every team as the beloved puppy. Yeah, he's a little mascot. Alex yeah, wants to be on every team. Why do they hate this guy? This is like, I don't know job. if anybody was, I don't even, the interview I did with him was nice. But like it was non-controversial and so not likely to get any like traction within this community because it was nice we like made fun of like charlie at the fucking uh london scientology org and we just had a nice time on the fucking show like i don't understand why they hate him he's like friendly with our side of stuff because i think he just he just tends to agree with our side of stuff more that's all that he's not he doesn't fucking he's he's not doing any of it I think they think they can bully him and that's why that's why they're <clears throat> happy to go after him. I think they're testing I think they're testing the waters a little with us. I boy howdy do I hope that's what we're looking at them testing the waters a little with us. We haven't had a we haven't had a good rope a dope with another community in a while. And give him clout and all that, but there's a dark side to him. And believe me, I mean, I could show you, I could show you the text where he told me to fuck off, but I won't. Fuck off. So. It's kind of mean girls. They already mentioned us, Kiko. You missed it. <laughs> she played video of me. Skipped over the best part. It's very, get your wig on. You're going to have to go on and pretend to be mad. <laughs> right. But yeah, it's anti-Scientology. Like, it is kind of like Mean Girls. I was trying to figure this out. This I'm the meanest I just girl. Sent everything to myself and got it. So. I'm like the ultimate boss of all of this. <laughs> I thought you use a lighter to burn a biscuit. <laughs> oh. Well, you said about me, burn my biscuits. Jason, well, dogs and fleas and such as they they always love to point out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you notice when she showed us, she showed us not from my website, not even from our YouTube channel that doesn't really have any followers, certainly didn't show the Twitch channel and did not show my website. I think I mentioned website first, but website twice, because that's where the fucking work is, actually. She showed that I was going to be on someone else's channel, and then she showed that another channel clipped me, something pretty good, that I was actually a pretty good clip of them to pull. And that's it. She doesn't want her fans or her followers finding me anywhere. He said, how much does the good work, good work is worth? Oh, how much is the good work worth? Or I don't know what you mean. Yeah, it was like a three minute clip that she also like. She can't sit through a three minute. Like I talk over stuff or whatever, but she can't sit through a three minute clip without speeding it up. 
Uh, oh, when he loves to stir the shit pot. Yeah, exactly. Behind the scenes. He literally dumps on his good work. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I think by stirring the shit pot, sh she means that he's in the Discord, not very active in the Discord, and is generally aligned with and interested in talking to people in what they would like, their group A or group B or whatever. That's it. That's all he's doing. He's just generally more interested in talking to us than to the fucking weirdos who like made, oh shit, Chattelac with five fucking community gift subs. We got Strider JC, Wildcat Antifa Demon. I see you lurking now. Ben Foxtrot, I see you lurking. Ordala, we were chopping it up the other night and uh, 81 Nobody, I see you lurking. I'm done. I'm calling it out. You're not doing a very good job of that. Growing up in Scientology, it's almost like the only people who associate with Alex are the people who publicly attack SPTV full time. Full time? Full time, everybody. <laughs> That's right. Full time. When's the last time we even talked about these fucking people? Oh, we talked about them the other night because we found out that Aaron mentioned me, but we've been like off this beat for like a couple months now. I wonder why. Yeah, because they're aligning themselves with anybody Clearly, that yeah. hates Aaron, and paid government that hates puppets, SPTV or the SPTV Foundation, and I'm calling it out. Fucking you know, shows from Kaku. Okay, come on. I, you know, okay. I would have more respect. Listen, Alex. <laughs> Alex, come on. You listen. You listen. No, Alex is doing fine. Alex is like, I like this group of people and I want to talk to them and associate with them and work with them to the extent that I can. It's fine. Um, just say, hey, Aaron, please just be honest. Just be like, yes, I. But you, with why? What, what? What does that do for you? Except give you something to complain about. I don't. I don't know if Alex has never publicly said. We can infer from who he hangs out with that he's not a fan of this other faction of people. But what Mrs. J is doing, I think it's funny. I think it's great. Uh, Mrs. J is some of her videos are pretty fucking funny, actually. I like Mrs. J. Mrs. Mrs. J is a troll of the highest order and uh, from 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 the old school of trolling. It, it's it's quality shit. Not all of it hits, but she's putting out a lot of videos. Right? Mrs. J is totally cool. Her. And I'm going to keep her on as a mod. Just be honest, dude. Be honest. I love George. He's doing good work. I like what he does. You don't. That's okay. Yeah, but Alex I'm, isn't on. Like, gonna... The thing about this is that, like, she's talking about a channel where he doesn't do this. He doesn't make it about himself and the conflict he's having with people. I do. Fuck it. I'm I'm here. I'm as uh, as Nora said before, uh, as Nora incorrectly said. Because I'm down to clown. I keep him on as a mod because I agree with him. Why can't you say the same thing? Own it. Own your shit. Own it. This is so far into the Own weeds. Ugh. Just two two face people piss me off, and I'm I'm so mad. I'm just nope. One face. One face. One face. Uh, just looking away from you. She's fuck. I'm telling you, they're angry at him because he has chosen to associate with uh me liam mostly nobody and oh and the people the form the members of the aftermath foundation he's chosen to associate with those people and otherwise keep his mouth shut about all this fucking crazy shit that's happening and like i mean i i, I don't know he's a british guy you, you you got some weird turns of phrases i wish he would start talking shit but he's not gonna it doesn't seem to be in his nature and that's fine i'm so mad Hey, Sid, uh, is it just me or Mrs. J kind of looks like Stephanie? Okay, I'm going to say Stephanie because I'm not going to call names today, but yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I Mrs. To know I, like. uh, nobody's talking about how you look, Marilyn. That's her. And we don't. I like her necklace, though. George Massey, for a Brit, she has problem with words and idioms. It's a piece of, not off. Oh, a piece off. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen nah, some typos, typos and shit. Sure, her. that's fine. How are we all? I don't know. We're not talking about the election. This lady fucking tried to talk about me, and it was it was not not great. Again, Marilyn, 
I know. Oh, we're on YouTube right now, but nobody watches our fucking YouTube channel. <laughs> Marilyn, I can explain all this to you. I would be happy to give you a link if you'd like to come on and talk to me. I could explain this to all of you. If you have the capabilities, you can broadcast this to your YouTube channel. I can explain all this to you. I don't even think we're going to argue. I can explain to you what's going on that you appear not to understand. Growing up in Scientology, we've always been good. Could you imagine if any of my moderators were doing stuff like this? I this guy had that fucking one lady, fucking Goldie, as a moderator who was posting like gross anti Semitic shit on fucking Gab. <clears throat> in addition to being like a flat earther, which I think is kind of funny. And then he was one of the last ones to remove him, remove Goldie. I think it was a her. Or some, like, but I don't. <clears throat> I know one has been liberated from Plinko health. Thank you. It. Thank no, you. You know, as soon as the first either. Plinko lands, people actually start giving me money. Uh, uh, survivorship bias. You have spoken to some of your moderators about things about coming out publicly against other survivors and even ones that you might not be getting along with at the moment, you know? So I got mad respect for that. <laughs> Stealing ketchup is her revenge for all the abuse. <laughs> Oh my god. God love her. She is so much fun. Blankets are good. Growing up in Scientology. Interesting. Liam is one of the folks who became Lindsay's BFF and moderator. Alex sure keeps some shady company. Oh. Lindsay is a woman who was dating Aaron for a very long time. While Aaron was married. Now, that's fine. I, my understanding is that they had an understanding. Lindsay was dating him for a, a very long time. It was sort of on and off, my understanding. I don't want to say too much out of turn here because uh, this is a person who is entitled to some amount of privacy. And uh, she spoke out about Aaron and his behavior. And now they all hate her. <clears throat> she and I get along fine. Um, her politics are such that I would not have her on the show. Um, but uh, it was one of the first person people she came to after she made her video because she had seen my articles about Aaron and the, the fucking she hasn't done anything to any of these people. Seriously, I didn't know that. That's fucked up. See, it just Liam what? did not become Lindsay's friend. They never met. Liam lives on a fucking different. Liam lives in France. Lindsay lives in Florida. They were not BFFs. Look at all of the. Look at Aaron going fucking full on Mean Girls up in here. The connections here. We've got so many dots. That's that because there's here. nothing left. Like it's unbelievable. There's it's, absolutely there's fucking nothing left. It's as if it's some kind of like underground like mob kind of thing. It's just crazy. Oh, M Michelle, you missed the part <laughs> where she tried to talk shit on me and fucking failed at doing it. I couldn't sit through a three-minute clip that someone else pulled of me. I just wasn't able to do it. It's an operation. She couldn't even really fucking. Is. Somebody stopped I her. She it. got like, she got like fucking like Chris Shelton in her ear, going, "No, no, stay away from him." Yeah, I wonder if Scientology's anywhere in there. I don't know. Just a northern girl growing up in Scientology. You'd be crucified if you kept a mod who acted like this. Absolutely. Oh my god. I should maybe make Mrs. So J a mod right. if she Did shows up tonight. Making spikes too many fucking mods. Yeah, exactly. Just ridiculous. Mary Reno, haven't trusted Alex from day one. Just my humble guy feeling. Well, he's doing good feeling. work, Mary. Just I wanted to let you know that. He's doing good work. I don't know if I trust Alex or, or not. I don't have to there. because he's just a person that I'll go on his ch channel if he invites me. And if I invite him on my channel, he'll come on my channel. I don't really have to trust somebody for that too much. You know, you're not, you're not, you're not dealing in a world of a lot of fucking interpersonal uh, relationship stuff. Hopefully. <laughs> oh my goodness. I should let your British ass come up here. You know, you can pop it if you want. <laughs> He's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, low cam. I like your music. Like, I think we follow each other on one of the fucking Twitter clones. I don't really got to trust you too much for that. If you wanted to come on and talk about your music for an hour sometime, 
I don't got to trust you that much. I just got to trust you to have a, a decent Wi-Fi connection. The accent and all the idioms and stuff. I need help. <laughs> He's like thinking about it now. He's like, hmm. If you let us know. In ex- <laughs> oh, that's George Massey. Mrs. James. Nora and Aaron parted ways. They did not part the waves. Moses did that. It Wait, what the life. fuck is this? So get your idioms straight. George Massey, talk about me. Talk about me, George Massey. I parted he waves. Like, he's wearing glasses. I bet he read my articles. <laughs> you part the waves. <laughs> Wait, what? He just had to set that straight. He had to say something. Wait, what? Let your friend on the show. I like him. <laughs> I can't. Oh my god! I got a cramp. I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> hey, Aaron, you got? Any, yeah, this is this is voicemails? fucking. Jim, this is. Uh, thank Jim you. Davis, oh, Jim. we don't have an ASL sound. Jim oh, I do. Davis. Actually, I do have. I have to play them from Discord. Again, I'm uh, using my uh, government name here, but these are these are pretty good. Dave Litton from Echoplex Media is also a malignant OSA influenced cringe factory. Yeah, I've never done anything on Dave because he's so irrelevant and worthless. He's not even worth the time. Mm, sure read my articles. <laughs> For the, ex- the exclusive. That's right. Any of you? Like, if, if like, hair. not any of you. This is Chimp Davis from the New York Times. Unbelievable. Aaron says he won't apologize because he didn't leave because he thought it was bad. He left because he couldn't handle all the quote hate. Directly. Oh, now. Oh, this is funny. Yeah, I've seen this before. Two people have been saying this about it. I don't know if this is true. He didn't leave Scientology because he thought it was bad. He left because people were being mean to him there. Um, If people are being mean to you somewhere. You would be like, this seems like a bad place. And then you would leave. And that's you leaving because you think it's bad and because people are mean to you there. Him. Oh, the irony. <laughs> no. Wow. Wow. The yeah. other thing, Aaron missed a fuck. Aaron missed his window, too. I think he knows it. He missed his window of opportunity. As soon as he got fucking removed from the aftermath, found it, he missed his window of opportunity. He could have gone full. I've been canceled for being a conservative grift. I don't think that is available to him anymore. There was a fucking, there was like a six week period, maybe two months in there where he had every opportunity to do that. And his dumb ass didn't know that that's what he was supposed to do. Reno. Oh, what a tangled web they weave. Yeah. And we're bringing them out, bringing them out. Not saying that's a good thing to do. Oh shit. Somebody bought. Oh, nope. Allie drew coming in. Oh, fucking. The, wait, where's the fourth wall thing on the browser? Did I turn it off? Uh, anyway, uh, you can win. Yeah, he fumbled the bag. You can win this thing. Hold on. I'm going to bring it up here. We need a break from this garbage anyway. But yeah, he fumbled the bag. Yeah, exclamation point enter. Check this thing out, though. It's, it's beautiful. Wait, which one was it? Ooh, the 2024. Yeah, look at this. Yo, it's fucking holiday goats, friends. Look at, look at it. It's fucking holiday disco goat. Look at this. It's a fucking mug with a disco goat on it. A disco Santa goat. Like, fucking look at this. Yeah, it's this stuff has been out. I'm going to add more of it soon. Uh, there's sweatshirts, t-shirts. No, there's just, uh, there's just a couple sweatshirts and the mugs. I don't want to do too much stuff this time. I think, and I need to work on the shop too. I want to trim out. Like, I want to, there's too much shit in my shop right now. But this is this is really cute. I want to show you the one that uh, we we sent to my mother. We sent my mom uh, this one. This is on the, the lighter colors. Uh, actually, just white. It was available only in white. And it's a uh, another holiday disco goat. Anyway, let's get back to this crazy video. I hope you all win. <sighs> Oh, hey, Seal Belf. I'll make more stuff, but I, mean, I don't want to make too much stuff. If anybody you. has any uh, suggestions for those two logos and what to put them on, we can't embroider them. So no hats. As I know you've been an, an Alex fan and you know, he does good work. Yes. But um, this has got to be called out. And thank you for 
Have we repeatedly platformed Holocaust denier Andy Nolte who was arrested in Australia? Oh, I challenge. Anybody here ever watched the last time we had Andy Nolch on? Anybody here seen that? <laughs> we had him on and talked shit about, talked shit to him for an hour and hung up on him. <laughs> we were like not, we were very impolite to Andy Nolch to say the very least the last time that he came on. Yeah, utterly humiliating someone. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Yo, I stand by. That was. I'm glad we had Andy Nolch on that time. Because <laughs> we were. Me and the media went, were both fucking stuck at home. We were annoyed because of the fucking pandemic. We've been talking about anti vaxxers. And we just. Just. Every bit of our fucking sarcasm and shade came out onto Andy Nolch. Okay. Riku won the fucking Santa Goat Holiday 2024. Oh, it was White Mug Black? I don't even... Ah, oh, fuck. I fucked up the title. You know, for all your support. Dave Litton... Litton? Dave Litton of Echoplex Media repeatedly performed Holocaust, Holocaust denier... Andy Nolch, who was arrested in Australia for vandalizing a murder victim's memorial. Oh, my God. So the first two times I talked to him, it was before any of this happened. Um, all right. Three. One time he called us during our show when the media wench's mother was here. <laughs> the media wench's mother was like, sweetie, do you talk to your mom? <laughs> like somebody who doesn't even come on the show was here like just drinking fucking hell of champagne and started trolling Andy Nolch when he called in. God. Dave Litton lives with his parents and no one listens to his hundreds of thousands of hours of terrible content. I do not live with my parents. I live near my parents. <laughs> well, I only played two minutes and it was it was uh, sped up and, and broken up, but yeah, I, yeah, I bet he does live with his parents. Wow. Uh, no, but I can ride my bike over there. If, if something happened, I'm glad I live near them now because they're getting old. Thanks, Gay. <clears throat> yeah, it is pathetic. Yeah, but except that none of what was described there was true. <laughs> none of what, I mean, it's fine, like, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I'm not even going to say keep my name out your mouth. Oh, I can't afford a car right now. That's all right. And you know what? If I, if Alex wants to keep company like that, fine. But own it, Alex. Don't lie. Could it's you could you go please? Could you just please read the articles that I wrote? Yourself, because you can't. You know, riding bikes is great. If you can afford it, like a bike's expensive now. If, if you don't need one, it's kind of a luxury item. But if you can afford it, go buy a bike and ride it around, ride it to the store, get a good lock. That I'm seeing, oh my God. Very strange bedfellows here. Const uh, to be fair, I, I, I I like Alex, but I, I wouldn't I wouldn't sleep with Alex. He's not really my type. Nice enough guy, though. Probably a failing on, uh, of, of my own part. I dislike when people address one as a syrupy name like lovely before trashing them. Oh, yeah, exactly. Are they talking about me? We've I'm done that. that. Talk about me more. Let's let's party. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Lydia Von Stretchclaw, he publish my mom's address, like and pretend that's my address and see what happens. Ask Honey Badger Radio how that went. Yeah, another amazing mod of Aaron's. I just remember Alex as being the guy who sought out Scientology after hearing how abusive it is and then was gutted at being thrown out. Make of that what you will. Yeah. Yeah. He he heard all the warning signs and everything that was going on. He's like, I want to join that. Let's join it. Not very, not very bright. 
Oh, now we're attacking victims of the cult of Scientology, like you said we shouldn't do. And then he was just upset because he he got. Oh, I hope we're starting to see the beginnings of something here, friends, lovers. Now, space country people, if we are seeing the beginning of something here, this is where me and the media wench are at our best. It's not like, oh, we're at our best when we're under stress and under fire. No, friends. We throw parties. This is a party. If they start coming for us, if they start like talking about us regularly, this is going to be the best thing that ever happened to us. Part 3.0. Kicked out. He tried to get back in. He got back in. He got kicked out again. I like her curtains. Like I, Jason, are you all supposed to take on the abuse without defending yourself? I swear to you, I could go on. I could have a nice conversation. I could have a nice conversation with her and explain to her. Not, I wouldn't convince her that we're right, but I could explain to her why people are making fun of them and criticizing them. She would respond however she would respond, but I could explain this to this person. It would not be difficult. Get the fuck out. Yeah. Um, and you know what? I, I feel like, um, no, talk about I, me more. I don't, My I don't God. I think it's gross. I don't read those stupid articles, you know, 27,000 paragraphs from, Oh, I don't read those articles that are 27, ma'am. We trimmed that article down from 27,000 paragraphs to 14,000 paragraphs. Disco Santa holiday mug black. Oh, it got. It got redeemed hell yeah um hell to the whatever whatever um this person that doesn't have a life but i've heard that they've been awfully quiet it's like what's the matter health to the yeah cat got your tongue no no actually i mean i'm i love this i also feel like it's pretty f am i wrong when she said i don't read those articles that are billions of fucking words long or whatever she had to be talking did she, was she talking about my last art because that was long that's not a quick read like 3500 words or something like that way longer than anything i tend to write she had to have been talking about my article she's like fuck this is going to take me seven minutes to read who has the time writer's block oh no writer's actually, block. Yeah. i write an article once a year scientology worship a space alien mug oh with a colored handle fuck yeah great mug enter to win everybody hold on marilyn you are you are monetizing my channel right now we're gonna worship mug the white mug with a colored handle Ooh, the first image is wrong oh the second image here we go scientology worship space alien Ooh, ooh, the, this this the, this one's a bad i need to fix this i need to fix this page on my shop here but uh She oh, I didn't like and people oh, fucking I'm naked now you can see my I've had people level this at me at a couple times and and there is no way in which we platformed Andy Nolch in a positive way except for maybe the first time I talked to him on audio only in like 2016. This is incorrect. I don't think they do because they want to go after people like reese you know reese isn't saying anything about scientology right now she's just trying to live her life you know i'm not i don't agree with everything she says or does and i have friends that she doesn't like whatever whatever oh but that's one of your best mugs well what's up glitzy mouse glad to see you here you haven't been here as much lately hope come things on. are going well come for on. you come after me why aren't you doing a um thirty-seven thousand paragraph synopsis of my last four streams Lady, I don't give that much of a fuck about your streams to write 37 words, much less 37,000 pair. She is talking about my last article. There's no way in which she may be confusing it and thinking somebody else wrote it. She is talking about my last article. <clears throat> Why haven't I written another article? Well, it isn't March of 2025 yet. I don't, I'm not a writer. I need help. Huh? Why? Why? Because I'm showing. Oh, wait. Is she talking about the Stephanie Hutchinson? The Stephanie Hutchinson's articles are shorter. I mean, anything's shorter than that fucking last article I put out. 
anybody here was uh had was privy to the google doc anything shorter than the way that google the, the longest version of that google doc at any point at that one point my god because the jig is up when your little friend oh, she's talking about reddit those aren't articles those are posts i think there's probably about eight of them you know and they all think they're like we are legion we are one we will blah 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 we're an army bull fucking shit oh she's stupid you don't say i i i, I could have a productive conversation all, with her. you know you're too stupid uh, athena won the you're fucking worship alien why is it crochet characters Whatever. and i know they were designed after me and guess what you ain't got nothing on me and that doesn't look like you you ain't got nothing on feral cheryl and by the way everybody as a reminder i'm just going to talk with rodney right now um as a reminder at one o'clock so we got less than two hours you gotta head over to Helicopter's channel she's gonna do Ooh. sorry <laughs> she's gonna do a, a premiere of her her pre-recorded i need to release this segment of me watching her video right like there's no way that we can get away with not releasing this i have to put it on youtube i have to risk her like being like use my stuff without my permission and give me a copyright strike like i've never been kicked off a of fucking youtube before the trailer is amazing already so i can't wait so definitely check that out after this grab a little snack or something and head over thank you marilyn for how uh, we sold we had two items given away and it was because of you to helicopters channel after this <clears throat> he's in their own saying of dogs and fleas yeah aftermath foundation can we apologize for calling people names i've, I've no i'm never gonna call apologize. like what the fuck no don't ever apologize for calling somebody names and a lot of times when they talk about name calling, they mean character assessment. First time chatter, what's up the mayor? So glad you're here. We might need you because these people, they're dipping their toes in the water about whether or not they're coming for us. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm just kidding. We don't need your help if these people come for us. Yeah. Um, Claire, can you make a, a statement saying that these people that you're working with are not? Oh, can you do the proper shout out, the slash shout out? Doing good work. So to put the thing at the top of the yeah, chat because uh, fucking nobody that watches this channel is following the mayor. Clearly, and you're not going to work with them anymore. We don't share the same audience. I mean, it's not going to kill. We are not ourselves part of a Twitch cult. You. It's not going to kill you. But you know what? We'll kill your foundation. Shit like this, and it's not. It's not my doing, it's your doing. It's just me bringing- So if there's any, and I think there probably is a downtick in um, donations to the Aftermath Foundation, but I think the main reason for that is that people kind of forgot about Scientology. And people get mad at me for this, but I think nobody, people wouldn't even be talking about Scientology. I wouldn't, I, start, I might've forgotten to talk about Scientology if it wasn't for these fucking people acting like this. You know, and I've got Scientology big in Canada, Mayor McCheese. I've got plenty of shit to show tomorrow. I, I'm going to sit down tonight and I'm writing an open letter to the Aftermath Foundation. I'm going to read it. I'm I'm going to show some more receipts. And will it be 73,000 paragraphs? We're going to get this shit done because this is not OK. This is not OK for people to be coming out of Scientology and dealing with people like you. And yeah, you know what? I've been saying this for a while. I've, I think I've, I've actually distilled it. If you leave Scientology and you find the anti-Scientology community, my advice to you is just go back to Scientology. I know that's fucked up. But if you leave... Oh, shit. Ellie Drew gave away... Always out of focus. Ooh, my logo on the water bottle. That's exclamation point. Enter to win. But I'm not kidding. And I'm kind of kidding. If you're leaving Scientology, if you're watching this channel, stay away from my channel, stay away from Marilyn, stay away from Aaron, stay away from the Discord, stay away from all of this, because all of this is possibly worse for you than being in Scientology was. And dealing with people like that, people that are calling parents of, of, um, of cult, you know, parents that are coming out of cults. Yeah, but y'all are about to dox my parents' home address. I think we're if if things continue down this trajectory, 
they're going to look up my name on Zillow or something and just show you a picture of my mom's house. Yeah, I think that's that glitzy mouse. That's that, that's where this, that's where this is going. If they if they continue to bring me up, that's where this is going. And then if they show you my mom's address, uh, things change dramatically in the um, w the battle of ideas around here. Calling them child abusers. I had a child advocacy lawyer, uh, somebody who who knows the laws. Well, at least in in. Um, the U.S. about what is considered child abuse. I do consider what I did wrap my kids lightly on on the butt with with a wooden spoon. I said it was abuse because I wish I hadn't done it, but it's not legally abuse. They took my words, they scrambled it up, they made it look like a Scientology hate site. We couldn't even tell the difference. Maybe it was a Scientology hate site. Between they still make those and aftermath. Guys, OSA aftermath. It's like, hmm, well, that's Oh no, now a fucking god damn it. Oh, it must be OSA. This shit is so crazy. Scientology does not have the resources to get random people who don't like this lady to make a fucking website at their behest. That says Mike Render, so it must be OSA because because the aftermath super fans wouldn't be picking on Mike Mark and Claire right and calling mark and claire a bully but they'll call me a bully you know no you're not a bully i'm not worried about you your community might have some fucking um that old man you showed i don't know maybe worried about him they won't call mike a, a woman a wife beater or a, a child abuser but they'll call me that you know all every day of the week and i'm every day and you heard my daughter and you saw her middle finger so there you go and believe me, if anyone's afraid of anyone, I'm afraid of her. <laughs> She's not afraid of me. That's for damn sure. <clears throat> <laughs> Let's see what else. Lydia, the thought. She should just have books behind her. Liam being a therapist is horrendous. Exactly. We have a shortage over here. Oh, uh, Michelle. You won the stainless steel water bottle. Fuck yeah. And someone like that in the space. I is could refresh problem. the drinkware. Yeah. That's disgusting. It's just absolutely disgusting. I love George. <laughs> Do you put the George? Me too. George is like. Well, I'm glad you got a water bottle. <laughs> George, you can come back up and uh, take a bow if you'd like. <laughs> Mr. God, I got to get on this <laughs> channel. Just <laughs> kidding. I could explain all of when this. First, they practice to deceive. Yes. What a tangled web we weave, right? Lydia, I'm tired and salty as f <laughs> Yeah, you should try some uh, pumpkin, spice, pumpkin spice smell. <laughs> Listen, I'm not saying that I want her to light her hair on fire with this candle, but I'm not saying it wouldn't be funny. Pumpkin spite. Oh, no. Oh, I wish we'd. Oh, friends. We're almost out of pumpkin spice season two. Oh, we got to. Don't ever. Don't say nothing about that until next year. We're gonna put that in our fucking back pocket for next year. We gotta we have a whole year. I'm not even gonna say it again. We have a whole year to figure out what to do with that. You say that five times fast. It smells really good. I don't really like the taste of it, but I like the smell. The smell. I'm sorry, are you drinking the candle? <laughs> I say that five times fast. It smells really good. I don't really like the taste of it, but I like the smell. It's a candle. You're not supposed to eat it. Probably more a texture thing than anything else. Smell the smell of it. I do like actual pumpkin pie, but I don't really like pumpkin spice coffee and pumpkin spice everything. I'm trying to distance Some herself point. from the basic. Hey, Alex, <laughs> you out there? Come on out. We don't bite. No, talk more about me. Not all of us. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Weeky beats. What's up? Listen. We're not I'll be back. I need to besties, pee. But I don't hate them. And guys. also, I just want him to be honest, you know, and I want him to stop that whole little act of, oh, I'm just an innocent little wife. But I don't think he's doing that. He just does his, Alex just does his fucking content. Shut the, the well, uh, and, oh, if he I'm did this, oh, I'm just an innocent little boy thing, we'd be making fun of him too, lady. He just seems like a nice guy. I don't know. Some more porridge, please. Like, oh. 
you know, come on, Alex, just cut the shit. All right. You are like this behind the scenes. Like, whoa, oh, I hate. Ooh, uh, thank you for redeeming that water bottle. I'll be back. I need to I pee. Hate Aaron. Don't give anything oh, away while I'm gone. Actually, I don't care. The chat will figure it out. Come on. All right, I'm terrible with a British accent, but but I'm just getting back to it. Oh, you all, because you think we talk all talk like this, and I don't, don't talk like that all the time, just some of the time. <laughs> George is laughing at me. Shut up, George. Hey, Pippi Longstocking Forever. Marilyn, I commend you for standing up for yourself. All that you are showing us is so disgusting. I didn't know any of this. Thank you. I appreciate that because I do feel kind of bad. Like I don't want, it just feels icky to come out here and talk about things, but Hey, someone's got to talk about it and, it, and I'll do it. I'll do it because they fucked with my children and my family and gloves are off. Like I've said. It's in poor Alex, poor, poor Alex. I know, poor Alex. Scientology didn't want to have him. Now the anti-Scientology don't want him. And everyone is so, 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 so mean to him. I know, hey? Tina McBride, Aaron is the only one of, is one of the only ones that story, whose stories hasn't changed. If you watch long enough, you notice that. Oh yeah, because you know, the thing is, you don't have to have a good memory if you're not a liar. You know, and uh, yeah, I've never caught him in a lie. <laughs> Aaron says he keeps Mrs. J on as a mod because Tony Ortega keeps telling him what a good boy he is. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. The many faces of Alex Barnes Ross. Pick one and own it, Alex. Yeah, just own it. All right. Hey, I got more respect for you. If you're like, I hate you. I hate Aaron. I'm going to support all the trolls that troll you and call you pieces of, you know what, pieces of shit and dumpster fires and everything. Just be, just be honest. Be honest. Alex was literally in Lindsay's live chat asking her, how can I, we support you? Yeah. And you know what? Eva wants to do that. That's fine. But we're bringing it out. We're calling it out. You know, we're calling it out. Um, is he doing good work? So everybody tried to be nice to this. Everybody was nice to this Lindsay lady when we found out that she was another like victim of Aaron Smith Levin's abuse. People were nice to her. Uh, what? What the fuck? This she's now she's now going back like six months too. Champ Davis sounds like a weatherman. <laughs> I'm just laughing because Cobiff Respect because and Truth Center. Call them Chimp Chimp Davis. That guy's a troll. That's fine. Yeah. Clearly a troll account. Oh, thank you, Joel. That's so sweet of you. Thank you for the super chat for Maryland. Yeah, I mean, you guys are buying merch, but you know, none of you are giving me money. What the I fuck? have to say that I'm um, just kidding. Sorry. Also, fucking, oh, is she crying because someone gave her $10 that she's going to get like $6.94 of? What is this? I really appreciate people like Joel because. Because he gives me $10. Almost every day um, since this start, this has happened. Every time I've done a stream. We have a few people who've been very big contributors to this channel over the years. Um, uh, R. Sorrel, not here tonight, very big contributor to this channel over the years. Uh, Modicool, punching way above their weight, con uh, contributing. Ali Drew, Ali, Ali Drew comes and gives away merch and fucking donates money. Helps me out behind the scenes for the, like, people... I appreciate all of you, but I'm not going to put on a fucking performance for you like this. I never would. It's gross. This is gross. This is gross parasocial shit. I was on Liam's channel yesterday. It was the middle of the afternoon. I was oh, I'm gonna like kind of hungover. And it wasn't my best performance, but this shit right here is the stuff that you got to watch out for when you're following a creator. Somebody, 
if all of you got together and raised a thousand dollars for me tonight, which I'm not asking you to do, I might get a little, I might get a little misty about it. Right. I'll be like, well, these, there's only 61 people watching this channel and y'all raised a thousand dollars for me tonight. I might get a little, you know, I might, I might, I might be up in the feels about it. That's very different than what she's doing. This is weird, manipulative shit that I. <clears throat> I was talking to uh, one of the Decoding the Gurus guys. There's only two of them. You'll have to guess which one. We were talking about parasociality. And they told me, they're like, hey, you know, you have a good community around you. People really like you. And there's ways in which you're leaving money on the table by not trying to manipulate these people. That, that there are people in your channel who would do anything for you. And I'm like, well, yeah, why would I do that? And they were just curious about that. Cause they're, um, they're working on it. The person right now is like working on a paper about like parasociality and, and raising money as a, as a content creator. It's very interesting work. But yeah. I'd never do that to you. Oh, one inquiry. Ah, I don't have to <laughs> one inquiry. Just fucking my fucking God. Look at that. Thank you so much. I'm not going to cry, but I do appreciate it. Like you could spend your money anywhere and you're spending it here. And that's, that's fucking amazing. It's fucking amazing that I, even though it's hard and I don't have a lot of extra money to do shit, it's fucking amazing that I get to do this for a living. It's just fucking amazing. Fuck. Yeah. Thank you. I'm not going to cry. One inquiry isn't even asking me to cry. I was emotionally manipulated. <laughs> Yeah, Juco, tears mean you're honest, right? It's like a show of real emotion for the camera. You can find shows of real emotion. If you go back and find that video we did when Michael Murphy died, we didn't even like Michael Murphy. The video me and the media wench did, you, you, you see some real emotion there. You see the media wench and me fighting back tears when we found out the guy who did what in the world are they spraying died. Not because we were valued his work as a chemtrail person, but because we know what the end of his life was like. But that was like a real thing that happened that we cared about. He texts me right afterwards and gives me encouragement. And it's like, you know, gold star, thumbs up. Oh, that's the last thing I want. A regular fucking, I wake up in the morning after my show and there's a message from one of the regulars. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, did I fuck up last night? <laughs> did I do something stupid? Like if I wake up, there's like 14 mess, 14 alerts on uh, Discord. I'm like, uh-oh, uh-oh, probably fucked up, actually. You're doing good. You know, he's like- One inquiry, oh, thank you again. There, Very generous. I started this whole thing and, um, you know, I- I didn't, never really had a dad. <laughs> um, I did have a, my adopted dad was always good to me. And, he, you know, he passed away. Yeah, this like, stuff, like, almost 15 years. This stuff, and it happens. I'm going to be careful here because I don't want to, uh, nah, actually, fuck it. Let's not be careful. This happens in, like, these sort of pseudo trauma informed communities. And the anti Scientology movement, in some ways, like a trauma informed community. But the, it's always, it always, the, the, the person presenting this has to share their trauma with you in, a, in an emotional way. I'm not saying that that's not good and that there's no, that there can't possibly be catharsis with doing that with people. But if it's after somebody gave you $10, I don't know. It just seems a little, seems a little bad. <laughs> years ago now but um yeah joel's been such like it's really weird that you're for sale for ten dollars lady you probably have a bigger audience than i do i'm not for sale for ten dollars but apparently you are fucking weirdo such a good friend and uh thank you joel i appreciate you so much i just had to say that <clears throat> now bad things happen to all of us and i'm not like like i think bad things probably happen to her she was in if i if i um I'm not a streamer, but ten dollars is ten dollars. Well, Riku, you should give me ten dollars right now. I'm not a streamer, but ten dollars is ten dollars. <laughs> yeah, you can give it to Avalon and Babylon. Fuck if you give me ten dollars right now, 
I'll give it to Avalon of Babylon for all their hard work on the fucking, uh, all their hard work on the, um, the wiki. I'll only owe Avalon of Babylon like 16,000 fucking 990 more dollars for all their work on the, <laughs> on the wiki. Kara J, another good friend. Context means a lot when dealing with quote work versus bad behavior. I'll take 20. Yes. Glitzy Mouse, you're, you've you been super uh, generous too. You gifted out a bunch of subs on the DJ chat. Like you all are fucking generous. I don't ever have to like pump this community for money. If I did pump you for money, we'd have to do that on a different website. Yeah, that's exactly, exactly true. Yeah. Oh, you, you, you stream? Riku, I don't follow you. Hold on. If you do streams, everybody, can we get a, can we, I didn't know that you streamed. I'm going to follow you right now. Only Dave's. Tina McBride. Pip Pip Cheerio is an old Hooray Henry saying. I thought he was making fun of the English. Yeah, I'm not really sure the, the history behind that. No, if an English guy says Pip Pip Cheerio, they're just being funny. Yeah. They're like self-aware that they're talking to an American probably. Stop minimizing real child abuse with that nastiness. Yeah, exactly. I'm sorry. So Scientology ain't being nice to the kids, but the real child abuse probably ain't happening in Scientology. It's like happening at like a, probably not a daycare center, actually. Either. It's happening when you leave your kids with your uncle, with, with their uncle and shit. It's fucked up. Like, I, and we've been dealing with this, I mean, probably since fucking what is it the fucking blood libel shit about jewish folks first started but it the 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 reason that child abuse happens and continues to happen and is pervasive in our society is like glitzy mouse says it's in like basic situations where you don't think about it Like, it has to be that way for it to be endemic in our society to where we always have to worry about it. It can't be overtly weird because we notice things that are overtly weird. It's almost never strangers, Athena. It's people with access. It's a crime of opportunity. It's fucked up, actually, that something so horrible, the way that it happens, tends to be so mundane. And that's, that's why it's pervasive and why it always will be. It's fucked up. Some things about our life, our life and our experience and about the world are fucked up, and child abuse is one of those things. I don't know what else to tell people. I fucking, I don't, I don't have a fucking, I don't have the solution for you. Can't post a hashtag to fix it. It's fucked up. That's it. Exactly. And you know, see my daughter, she's 26 years old. She can take care of herself. She, she's. Oh yeah. It's never, it's, it's, it's not just, but like Athena, it's about access. I don't want to, uh, this is a dark place and I don't want to spend too much time here. But it's about trust and access. It's a crime of opportunity. Mind you, the person has to be of a mind to do it, which is fucked up too. Like, it has been. And she, but it's actually kind of hard to abuse somebody at the McDonald's. She knows that. With the Chuck E. Cheese. A little easier if you run the youth group. It's fucked up. You got to trust somebody to run the youth group. I don't know what to tell people. It's fucked up. Sarah from Great Britain. Please, can I just make it clear that I have never in my life said Pip Pip Cheerio to anyone in all my years? Yes, we. But that's because really it's a noticed. joke now. Really <laughs> Mary Reno, I've never been on Reddit or Discord here. There are cesspools. That is affirmative. Why aren't you on Discord? She's 
<clears throat> she's leaving stuff on the table by not having a Discord. She does a live stream. Like, why doesn't she have a Discord for her community? Discord's the best thing that ever happened to us. I love our Discord, by the way, because you aren't fighting in there. You're not fucking posting your political opinions. It's just like all these channels that help me do my show. Oh, wait. I'm coming at this from a completely different place than she is. Trying to have fun, trying to be popular, whatever. Not, not, not doing so well at the popular part. Ah, the fun part we do okay at about around here. <clears throat> but it's also great that if I fucking, if I, I don't know, if something happens, I have to go see my parents on a Thursday or whatever. I don't really have a show. I can go in the fucking Discord and look at the Cults and Satanic panel, Panic channel. And sometimes my whole show is right in there for me. Hell to the yeah. Health to the yeah. Ooh, if I want a million dollars. Ooh, this is going to surprise you. I probably wouldn't do anything. I'd probably give it to somebody to manage for a few years and then think about what to do with it later. Maybe pop like 50 grand of it into a checking account. So if I ever needed money or whatever, I could just get the money. But otherwise, I'd probably not do anything at all. I don't think a million dollars is that much money. Yep, they are. Constance June, after, after being out of Reddit for months, went back for a day, won't do that again. Mm, Why? It's toxic. It is toxic. No, there's <laughs> such, there are so, like, listen, you got it. Like, Reddit, anything political or controversial, like Reddit, it's like anywhere else. But if you go into, like, a channel on Reddit, like, that are just, like, DJs. I'm going to D like, I check the DJ Reddit once a week. I check the couple Linux, Linux audio Reddit is so good. So good. I was having a problem with the new version of the operating system that I use. And I just posted in the Linux audio thing. I described my problem and then somebody was like, Hey, here's how you fix that. And I was like, Holy shit. Thank you. I'd wait. I don't, I'm not saying it's not, I'd rather have a million dollars than not have a million dollars, but I would wait because it's not a billion dollars, a billion dollars. I'd be wiling out and buying all of you a Ferrari, right? I'd be like, fuck this. I don't care if anybody watches the channel. I'll be giving away Ferraris on fourth wall. If I had a billion dollars, million dollars, I think it would be smart to wait. Yeah, I'd just give it to some, I'd take 50 grand and put it in a checking account and give that shit to somebody else to manage and not let me touch for at least a year. I think that's what I'd do with a million dollars. It would change my life too, Glitzy Mouse, but <clears throat> so would 50 grand in my checking account. <laughs> Bang enter. Pete's like, Dave's giving away Ferraris. Canini, Canini from Brazil, I believe. Good to see you, friend. It's been a little while. Alex is shady AF. Never had a good vibe from him. And I was shady AF. This is like, at, on one hand, he's Oliver Twist, and on the other hand, he's shady AF. Yeah. And you know, they're going to be like, oh, Mel is doing hate videos, but poor, poor Alex. I don't have. I'm not poor. This is a shitty hate video. Your hate video sucks, friend. You tried to hate me, it sucked. You've been trying to hate our, our uh, colleague, friend of the show, Alex, it sucks. You kind of forgot to hate some of the other people that you said you were going to hate in this video. You just forgot about it because you suck. You suck at making hate videos. I don't have any hate. I'm just telling the truth. I'm pissed at him, yeah. And I'm disgusted, yeah. I don't hate him. I don't hate him. And if he apologizes, I'll forgive him. You know, apologize for and what? And uh, on behalf of you know myself, I can't forgive him for everyone else. But um, if he makes it right, you know, make it right, Alex. Make it right. Get rid of Mrs. J. Come on, you know, give me a fucking break, dude. You know, get rid of Dave. Is this okay? In what world? This is okay. In what literal a this is all okay world? Is any of this okay? This is what, fine. Is this okay? If you think it's okay, please say so. And making I, fun I of you. That. Mrs. J is, again, this is like the thing she's talking about is crowdsourced in a lot of ways. No. Oh, 
oh, well, I'm not responsible for what she What up, Vivian? Oh, yo, we're so far down the rabbit hole, Vivian. I'm glad you're here, though. You could you could ground us in reality. But you know what we're doing? We're not talking about the election. For uh, Abby James, you're not responsible? Well, you kind of are because she represents you, dude. She represents you. So Does she? I don't know. She's just a, okay. Mrs. J is like, I don't know. She's my online uh, associate. I fucking chat with Mrs. J. She's in my Discord. She comes in the chat. Does she represent me? No. Only the media wench represents me. In the best possible way, actually. Oh, I don't know. Is a rabbit hole actually deep? I don't know. That's right. a good question. But don't lie. Don't lie. And if you think that's okay, too. Show more of me. Okay. Me, 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 me. Not cool at all. So More of me. You want to know how I really feel? Alaxi Axius. That's, that's how I really Ruined feel. your name, but thank you for following. Oh, boy. <clears throat> We got true confessions here from Ew. My erotic attach. Yo, Belf. That's okay, Belf. We're all friends here. But we won't we won't tell anyone. We won't tell anyone. Seal Bill says, I will concede that my erotic attachment to Alex may have clouded my judgment. I will Yeah, she did. She did. She made it. this is this is how you know. This is how you know that you're doing a good job of uh, engaging in the marketplace of ideas is when you're compiling uh, databases of ways in which people are making fun of you. <laughs> like the fucking chemtrails people one time, they put, up, put out a list, it got leaked, it was a spreadsheet, and it was like fucking 7,500 people and their Facebook account like links that were making fun of them. It was the funniest thing that ever happened because I was like, what do you mean they made a, they made a list of people that make fun of them? What, there's 7,500 people that they made a list of making fun of them? Leaving annoying kumbaya. They're like, yeah, here's a spreadsheet. And I looked on the spreadsheet and I, was, I didn't recognize all of them, but I'm like, I think all these people probably made fun of chemtrails people. When he's brought up, that's okay, Bill. If you can, you can comment whatever you want. George Massey's <laughs> I'm trying to sound like a uh, 900 number. A ah, friend of mine, my my the first new friend I made in Fremont has an OnlyFans. His name is Matthew. No, I won't give you a link to his OnlyFans. He's very nice. Which meant to Alex. That's all right, honey. We don't need uh we don't we won't talk about the butter sculptures and all that stuff going on between you and Alex. It's all good. Alex could do better. Uh. Force of delightful nature. What is driving me crazy is how after math foundation people act as if they are innocent and righteous while associating and promoting these trolls. Well, uh, yeah, now I gotta have everybody from the aftermath foundation on the show. Well, okay. I know force of delightful nature, but you need you need to keep your eye on the mountain. Keep your eye on the prize. We need to be exposing the abuses of of abusive practices of Scientology. Oh, great. We're at 46 minutes into this video and it's the first time she's mentioned it. I am not an anti-Scientology activist. I got into it with um, Schmish Schmelton about that in a Discord. Where he's like, your activism. I don't remember what he yeah, me, 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 me. And I said, I'm not an activist. I didn't even claim to be a journalist. You know, give me a fucking break. You know, while while in the, you know, I know Mark is delighting in this shit. I'm an anti-Scientology you know? entertainer. Thank you. Thank you, Glitzy Mouse. That's right. That was very generous of you to call me an entertainer. Seen him in Discord, so he's not fooling anyone. He can just cut it out. <laughs> oh, I got banned from Twitter. Does anybody remember the Twitter account Panic at the Discord? <laughs> it would post shit that got leaked from people's Discords. Oh, such a good Twitter account. It got banned. Uh, Elon Musk, Apartheid Clyde, uh, Free Speech Absolutist, did not uh, bring that account back. Claire, I really don't understand what, I don't understand what she's doing at all. I really, uh, as a woman, I just, I'm just. But like, you're a woman, you don't understand what another woman is. All right. Like, I don't understand what other men are doing. We fine, baby. I don't really say flabbergasted, but I'm flabbergasted. 
<laughs> Kitty Jones, I so want to hear some more of Pete's voicemails. <laughs> Did Pete get drunk and leave voicemails for this lady? We're willing to police our own. Yeah, Aaron, you got some more for us? Just a Northern girl. With all the AF's trolling connections, is their foundation even helping? Ex Do these people not remember that the beginning of the anti-Scientology movement on the internet started with trolls? I'm sorry, this lady doesn't know her history. Does anyone remember that? And... Ali Drew, you were here. You were there around for this. Operation Chinology was people trolling Scientology. Scientology, more or less, on the internet got destroyed by trolls. I'm not saying anything fucking controversial. What's the Aftermath Foundation? Not as fuck. I'm not saying anything controversial here by saying that the Scientology essentially got trolled off of the mainstream internet. Because that's what happened. They got hell made fun of. Like a lot, like a lot, a lot, like for a very long time. Scientologists anywhere. They claim they, ha they are. And hey, um, more power to them. I hope they are. I know that they've done good work. They've trolled Aaron's work. voicemail um, at 12, 20, 1, 22 PM. Were you blackout drunk at 1.22 p.m., Pete? Don't lie. That seems to be an excuse for bad work. Blackout too. drunk bad at 1.22 p.m., but I don't, I leave my phone in my pocket. I said they've done good work, <laughs> but guess what? I, I'm pretty much willing to bet that they're hitting bottom. They're scraping the bottom. I'm pretty much willing to bet that they're hitting bottom. They're scraping bottom, you say? Some people are more bottom than others. Scraping the bottom of the barrel. You know why? Because they alienated a huge. I was just kidding, Pete. Of my their, God, of their chill out. Man. Everybody, people are getting hell mad now. They're their supporters. Yeah, well, what they're the fucking point? Of, all right, if it's cold out, I get drunk at fucking one in the afternoon. Fuck it. My friend's like, let's go to brunch. And I'm like, when? They're like, one in the afternoon. I'm like, I'm going to cancel my show. We're going to get fucked up <laughs> there's a way in which a certain friend of mine hits me up it's like we're gonna go to brunch at 1 p.m i'm like oh what day like sunday i'm like great no news show that day <laughs> and the homosexual community one's called the bottom the other's called the top holders and a lot of of the survivors so whose fault is that whose fault is that claire Where's oh for, dude what about Glitzy Mouse, I know we're like way off topic, but this is this is the this is the fun part of the channel. Glitzy Mouse, what if everybody like showed up to Frisbee Golf, fucking white girl wasted? With the president, right? You know? I mean, maybe you should try to make amends a little bit. Do an amends project. You know, and at least distance yourself and renounce this hatred. It's nothing well, but hatred. But Pete, you gotta did you see the part of this where she talked about me? Like, I love this shit. I don't know. Like, it's just a, a, a no, it's like a feature of the, the way that me and the media wench kind of came out of like internet culture into this is that I love that. I wish she would have spent more time talking about me. I don't care what she says. She could have called me a PDF file. Could have said I'm on a registry. I don't give a fuck. And it's disgusting. And you really, if you listen, if you really think I'm a child, I mean, there's a way in which if, if you, if I move to your neighborhood, you should be notified, but that's because I'm cool as fuck. Child abuser. If you really think that parents that come out of cults should not have a little bit of grace, should not be able to make amends. And uh oh, what did she do to her kids when she was in the cult? I don't know, but uh, I don't care what kind of religion you hold, lady. Your kids didn't choose that religion. Whoa. This is sort of the opposite of taking accountability, too. If, if she's like, oh, I was like brain, lack of a better word, brainwashed. And, you know, I treated my kids in this way and it was really fucked up. And I, 
you know, I need to make amends for that. This is the opposite of that, actually, because people do get like wrapped up into things in their family and friends get hurt in it. And that's fucked up. But like a lot of people just are like, oh, that wasn't great. Shouldn't have done that. Sorry, everybody. She's like righteously indignant about something I'm pretty sure no one has said. Here, actually. Talk about what they did so that maybe other people will be safe. If you think that I'm a child uh, abuser, spoon, I don't know. My it. parents never hit me. My dad shoved me once, but I was being an asshole. And I was 17, so whatever. <laughs> like, I deserve to have my pop shove me. <laughs> but, Fine. Like, that's Fine. all I can come up but with. But don't pretend that another little, like, Joe White Cabbage Patch, darling. Ooh, keep your eye on the mountain. Let's talk about the abuses of Scientology. You know? No, there's no Scientology anymore. I, I'm i telling you, dude, fuck, people get mad at me. There's no fucking Scientology anymore. All there is is you, Marilyn. You and your friends. That's all there is. It's just you. And to some extent, me and Mrs. J here, Mrs. J, they, she called you a troll, Mrs. J. And I was like, Mrs. J is a troll. It's fine, baby. There's no, there's no Scientology. It's just, it's just these people and me actually now. I am the thing I'm criticizing uh, almost all the time. Actually, if I talk about online influence and grifters and stuff, there's a way in which I'm doing the same fucking thing. Like I can't not. Oh, this is so crazy. Oh, Mrs. J, you missed it. Shit. Let's just call a spade a spade. Be honest. Just be honest. So by the way, call a spade a spade is not racist, but I don't say it anymore because some people think it is. And I just don't want people to think I might be racist. Linda Scott, it seems that the Aftermath Foundation will never apologize because they are promoting this hate. 100%. They couldn't get over their... <laughs> being turned against them. to beat my kid, then now they can beat me. Not a fair fight. Against them by Aaron defending himself. Exactly. And they brought that on themselves. You know, because there's some very rational, steady, good people like, like Jerry. Okay. He's a comedian. He says some stuff about Stephanie, but he was a He's a comedian. No. My experience, at least on Facebook, is when uh, somebody adds me randomly because they find out, I, but when I lived in San Jose, particularly, when they found out that I was involved in entertainment in some way in San Jose, uh, they were like stand up comedian. And they added me. Those were the best people. <laughs> Local stand up comedian, edgy, edgy stand up, best people. He donated to them. He sent them an email, which they ignored. He sent another email the other day about these haters, which I haven't. I like, email me. I'll ignore it, too. Fuck you. He's heard back from them either. So I've emails from Professor Q that I've been ignoring for two months. And I love Professor Q. It gives us an air of legitimacy around here as a member of this community. Um, okay. Sorry, I'm just looking at some. It's here. I'm serious. Is she, Marilyn, are you out there? I can explain all this to you. I need like four minutes. And that includes the part where you ask questions. Friend, I can explain all of this to you. Hey. Aaron said, reporting a channel was actually effective. Me, yeah. I'm very close to my, I mean, physically. Yes, and to the like my mom, my dad, and my sister, uh, my extended family. No, nah, I don't know that much about them. Yeah, I'm very, very, yeah. Hang out with my parents once or twice a week. Yeah. Found out my mom was being picked up at the airport at 11 by my dad last Thursday. I was like, Dad, you're an old man. Can I come with you? He was like, why? And I'm like, you're old and you're driving to the airport at 11 p.m. <laughs> Can I go with you? He's like, yeah, I guess. I feel like Scientology will be doing it to us all the time. Yeah, really. Um, not sure reporting channels actually does anything. No, I mean, I, I know reporting does for like bullying and stuff, you know. But you should report something. I don't know, even know why to report something. I I, I stopped reporting shit 
except on Telegram, sometimes I have to report the thing I saw on there to the FBI. It's horrible. You're like, I fucking hate the cops, but, uh, I mean, somebody got to stop this terrorist training ramp I just found on Telegram. Hey, Liz. Liz Gale, you're here? Let's see you, honey. Liz Gale, I'm sorry. It seemed like I... Oh, it's not Liz Gale. No, who's the fucking lady that, like, had this medical emergency? What was her name? Is it Liz Gale? I don't think it's Liz Gale. Who was the lady that had that medical emergency that they were all shitting on? While she was, like, in the hospital, and she made, had to, felt like she had to make a video from the hospital. Not Lisa McPherson. She, uh, Liz Ferris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was on the troll team, but I'm not. At least I learned said friends never liked or respected me, so truth prevails. I never thought you were a troll. Sorry, it seemed like I was on the troll team. No, yeah, Liz Ferris. Okay. I went. It's hard to keep track because I don't care about these people. And Lindsay's chat wants to remind her to ignore the trolls so she wouldn't get worked up again and attack someone. Attack someone. Oh, I Liz Gale is all over the I place. Stop reading Liz Gale's comments. Attack. You're not good at reading. She's not good at commenting. For it. Yeah. Well, you know, I know that you second gen sometimes have disagreements. Unfortunately, it became public. I love all of you. I love both of you. I. You know, I never, I never took sides with. We them. haven't done this in a while. I'm, I'm like really disappointed. She's not talking about me anymore. I love you, Liz, and I, I don't have a problem with um you being compassionate to someone. I, I don't know what went on behind the scenes. I know that yeah, this is uh, a fucking know, all love, uh, baby. Like my channel, run high, and I know that too. there can be reconciliation. I do. I never held it against oh. you, and um. Yeah, I, I love you, Liz. I just wanted to say that. So, I just hope that you guys... on Grinder right now and be like, if I said you had a nice butt, would you hold it against me? Work it out. I should say that to somebody on Grinder. Hey, you know, we all have weak moments, and it's okay. I Wait, what? And I don't... Why are you sharing that I with people in a YouTube chat? Thank you for being compassionate. I, and it's not my, and that's not my business. That's not, you know, I'm not Jenna. I'm not Aaron. I'm not you. You guys, I hope can work it out between you, but I Wait, don't what? have a problem with you. I love, I love you. Uh, were, they, were they in a throuple? But thank you for being here. I try not to like dump hello fucking personal like problems on the internet. Like, I, I don't think that it's good. I think that it's like, Oh, it's like, a, um, I know maybe people are in a, like if I needed financial help, no problem, baby. I'd be like, Hey friends, listen, I'm $600 behind on rent, but don't worry. We're, it's only the 10th of the month. We can make it through that. That stuff would be fine. But I don't, this, this trauma dumping. I, I see some people, uh, people don't do it in chat here that much, but I see people doing it in Twitch chats and stuff, and I don't think it's good. I know it's like maybe cathartic for the person dumping the trauma. But, and I know like, I know that we live in this fucked up world where a lot of people, especially people getting into my, we were talking about this with, um, no, pimp, pimp, you, you can talk about your problems here, pimp. Pimp Limp Fresh. That's PLF. You can talk about your problems here if you want. Um, but that, that, I keep going back to the interview we did on Friday about, the, about that fucking documentary. And, uh, you know, our wonderful interview guest, Noel, was talking about uh, uh, Gen X women feeling like alienated. And we do feel alienated, but I just feel like. I mean, I don't know. I don't, f I, I live in the burbs now. It's alienating, but I don't feel alienated. I still have like fucking like six, seven like really good friends and like a network of people, but I don't, maybe this lady doesn't know anybody. Is June falsely reporting child abuse also uses up valuable re recourses and time from those really being abused? Absolutely. All right, and Constance, the fact that thank this you. This was 20 years ago. And my daughter's fine, you know, um, 
I'm not making excuses for what I did, but God. I was saying earlier, Mrs. J, I wouldn't be able to bring her over to our, her side, but I could go on our channel and explain to her why, like, people, I don't know, loosely saying on this side of the argument, like, w why we're saying the things that we're saying. She would like, scream and freak out at me like Nora was thinking about doing. She thought better of that, though. I don't think Marilyn would talk to me either, because uh, she would think better of that. God, I mean, like I said, I don't want to, like, Claire, dunk on these people or whatever. I just want her to, like, understand. Like, like for her, she seems stupid. I think, <laughs> I think fucking Mrs. J is right. I think this lady's stupid. And that's fine. You know, some of you are stupid. You just don't know it. I'm fucking stupid, too. I'm aware of it. But I feel like I could, like, ex like at least, like, I don't want to even say humanize the people on the other side of this. I just think that I could explain to her why, like, people be making fun of her and Aaron. Well, that come out and talk about their experience. If she got mad, I would make you know. fun of her. Okay. Hey, Lori Plays. Good to Who? see you. It'd be funnier if Mrs. J went on there and explained to her why people be making fun of her because she hate Mrs. J. It's all good. I'm still sad about it, but I'm moving on as usual, <clears throat> focusing on doing my own things outside of TV. That's for TV from now. And that's fair. That's fine. You know, good job for you. That's Get away from these people. Get out of Maryland's chat. Come talk to us. All I all I look we for. We talk about Chris Key. He drinks his own urine. And a friend is it's fun here. And Uplifting. Integrity. And I and you have that. And Aaron has that. You know, I love you both. And hey, I don't I love mean, any of these motherfuckers. About it. It's crazy that we're talking about it in, in public. But I, think, I love Pete and Juco. Actually, I think that's we, that's we we had a may you live in interesting times. Actually, healthy that we're all able to just disagree on some things and agree on other things, you know? And uh, I care about you all. She's worse than this person? I'm sorry, I'm just so fucking emotional. Oh, oh, me too, everybody. Can we all hold hands, everybody? Listen, I know it's weird. I don't know how you decide who's holding whose hand. I guess you're in a chat room. You could claim to have like 16 hands everybody hold hands because this is about to get very emotional i'm just glad you're both here she already did it once before thank you for being here both of you Oh, sorry. Super. Yeah, it's okay. I'm late to the show. I'm just crying again. You know, you haven't missed. Why much. though? <laughs> it's like fucking manipulative. You like people that do like that point a camera at themselves and talk to an audience. I don't care if it's a small audience like mine of 50 people or a big audience like a uh, 57 people like a like a like a big streamer has. You have to be aware that the camera is pointed at you. Like, I am aware, like, I, I'm not going to have, like, emotional breakdowns and stuff on the show. I don't think, I think it's, first of all, like, I don't, I don't want to share that with the public. I think that's actually it. If I am in some kind of way about something, I'm not sharing that with the public. There may be some ego in that. I'm like a 47 year old man or whatever. And I'm like, gotta be strong. Gotta be ready to deal with these. No, wait, no, that doesn't work. Like people come for us like fucking honey badger radio or these weirdos. No, we're ready for that. A bunch of dumb fucks don't like me. Oh, good for me. But there's, I don't know. I think the last time I got like emotional on stream was the that Andrew Gold video where he was talking about Doug Kramer dying. That was the last time I got like emotional on stream. I was hell mad. 
but I was able to like understand there was a camera pointed at me and process that through my brain and put, put it out there as words because there's a camera pointed at me and people are watching me. Although I did show, I did show some screenshots you might want to see. So, Oh, could you show me again? Let me go through a few more. I don't want to stay on too long. Okay. I definitely want to be done. Mrs. J, you should email her and go on the show. Hit me up. I'll make sure that your audio is good to go. I'll help you with whatever you have as far as audio. Hit, go on her show, Mrs. J. She won't talk to me. Go on her show, Mrs. J, and explain to her why people are criticizing and making fun of these people. Please. In time to run, do a few things before I want to, I want to see that that premiere on Kelly's channel at one o'clock Eastern. Don't miss that. <laughs> I'm going to read this because this is too good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a little bit petty. I remember Alex strutting around the streets of LA with his hands clasped behind his back. Little Banty Rooster thinking he's Foghorn Leghorn. Yo, Foghorn Leghorn was pretty cool outside of the few racist things that Foghorn Leghorn said yeah i don't really like was it confidence chris that they were just like get out of my way peasant you know it's like the big so with like you 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 will see ali drew maybe were you here the time that i had a meltdown because skype was just putting people's windows in different places like When I come at content to present to the billions of you that are watching, I like actively put a bit of distance between myself and the content that I'm talking about. Like I have to. There've been times where that fucking distance closes. Uh, I'll be straight up. The time that Andrew Gold started saying that fucking Doug Kramer probably died of a drug overdose. Yeah, I got I, that distance fucking disintegrated. I was hella mad. I was fucked up. But that's it. Like, otherwise, like, what am I doing here? What am I doing here? If I'm emotional. I mean, I'm a person with emotions and I feel ways about things that happen, but if I'm presenting stuff to you and trying to talk to you about what I think is going on, or maybe just to make fun of it, because fuck, you got to make fun of dumb fucks. If I can't like separate my like knee jerk emotional reaction from that, then what am I even doing? What I'm probably doing is manipulating all of you, which I am doing, but I've thought about it some with mitch brisker and apostate alex and they're like sir Wait, what happened to mitch brisker and they're just these important come on that's that was so rude because confidence chris is out there every day and doing he's doing good that's work. confident chris not confidence chris also there's videos of him like just sexually harassing women that walk by hey, on guys, the street put a one in the chat if you think he's confident, confident until one of them claps back at him chris is doing good work or streets la and all all of them oh streets out these people suck doing good work mm -hmm. put in the one in the chat no they jumped onto your shit because it was popular on fucking youtube and you couldn't even tell that a bunch of weirdos that were like uh first amendment auditors like jumped onto this yeah i think they probably all found it because of uh what's that guy's name uh of an angry gay pope I don't think it's Angry Gay Pope's fault, but I think they they all ran into Angry Gay Pope in that First Amendment auditing scene and decided to protest Scientology for a while Alex to get views. Alex is not the only one doing good work, you know. Liz Gale's doing good work. Aaron's doing good work. All of them are doing what? Nora's doing good work. I am doing the best work. I'm getting Nora to run away from me cowering, not because I was going to do anything mean to her, I've gotten a lot out of her recent streams with CC and her coverage. And also she did a, she did an interview with a parent that came out of Scientology and is 
owning things that she had done in the past that she's not proud of. And I think that's beautiful. And also the, the coverage that Nora did with, I think it was, was it Kelly? If somebody just left the cult of Scientology and was concerned with what they had done to their own children, is Nora's YouTube channel the best place for them to go? About the like curious, curious and curious are on the fucking out there, like checking into shit. I don't know. Should we try to talk to, ah, oh, fuck. We Austin Bennett ruled Nora. The, the, the girl that was running from Scientology Irrevocable. and all that. Yeah. She's doing good work. You know, a lot of people are doing good work, not just Alex. Paula Candeloro, I used to love to watch post streams, but Alex is in there more and more and more and just can't be there if Alex is Alex Poe on the go. Yeah, we made fun of him. So I'm not in there either because I'm not welcome in there and I get ignored and mocked. So fuck them both. That's all. People have made fun of me in a chat room. (laughs) Like the fucking channel, the fucking Twitch chat here is essentially a chat room. Somebody makes fun of you in the chat room. Are you going to get that mad about it? What if what they said was funny? Oh, I'd say about that. Uh, What is hilarious is one of the trolls tried to get Alex to get rid of of Mrs. J. So one of the trolls tried to get Alex to get rid of Mrs. J. This is so fuck. This is so crazy. They all turn on each other in the end. (laughs) No, we're not. We won't. Why would we? Who are we? I think she's talking about us. No. Shit's about to get weird in the United States of America, but I don't know. We might we might laugh as the fucking place burns down. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> really, I didn't know one of the trolls tried to get him get rid of Mrs. J. Well, but, but why is Constance June know what happened? That's okay if he doesn't want to get rid of her, but I'm pointing out that he's not. He's refusing to. Okay. And uh, he's trying to distance himself from Liam. What about Mrs. J? You know? You know, fuck it. Distance your... No, don't... I'm not distancing. I don't know. If I don't like somebody, they go fuck themselves. Oh, Mrs. J, earlier you missed it, friend. Somebody in her chat was like, oh, they've platformed Andy Nolch. Mrs. J, you saw the last time we talked to Andy Nolch, right? <laughs> Look at the platform was on fire. And maybe he should, um, maybe he should, uh, vet people before he's on their channel. You know? No, I'll, I'll like, I don't vet, like, I go on, cha- I don't vet, cha- like, <clears throat> if I went on a channel and y'all were like, hey, dude, yo, there's some eugenic shit on this channel, I'd look at the channel and be like, oh, I shouldn't have gone on that channel. And then I'd like go on Twitter and be like, I went on this guy's channel, but fuck this guy. It's fine, baby. Like you can fuck up and go on someone's channel. And then like, somebody's like, Hey, look at this. And I'm like, well, I didn't take a close enough look at this channel. That's fine. We all fuck up. This is, this is all fine. It's the problem that's happening here. And that happens in a lot of communities as they like fucking become like more like concentrated and slightly smaller is they're not really willing to look at themselves and look at what they're doing look at the kind of things that they're involved in because now you're a hater no because he's like oh well i said that i only was on i only interviewed with him once and like the discord that they hate so much if i went in there and i don't know what it would be but if i went in there and somebody was or like a group of people was doing some shit and i'm like hey i wish you guys wouldn't be doing this stuff response wouldn't be all hater oh shit you work for uh osha not osha but osha like the response there wouldn't be that People might start arguing about whether or not I was right, which would be fucking totally cool. But the thing that they're fighting against, one of the things they supposed to be fighting against is a cult. It's Scientology. 
but the the group of people that is formed it's so weird there's so many more people concerned i i i gotta keep coming back here because this is really important there's way more people concerned with the Many more people involved in the anti-Scientology community than there are Scientologists. There just are. Oh, he's not, as far as you know? Do you know or do you not know? But this is what's supposed to happen when that happens. He made a public statement, and he has he apologized for, for being the, the leader of one of the dis most disgusting cesspools on the internet. No, it's just like a Discord. Like, some of you that aren't that aren't even like I think curiouser. I think curiouser. You're in the that Discord that she's talking about. It's just like a normal Discord. <laughs> it's just normal, more active than mine. I think it has less members and is more active than mine. So good on all y'all, I suppose. You've had to change leaders like seven hundred times, but you know, good on you. Yeah. Mm. All right, Lydia, you are fire today. Whoa, girl. <laughs> Yeah. what you don't like it oh athena you're in there uh yeah there's nothing uh, there's no reason to be active in there yeah the SP, uh, it's now the pts disc there's no reason to be active. like nothing's happening there yeah. power thetan song i have to have my buttock surgically <laughs> what you want to say wait no, what no, oh, i have to have my buttock surgically separated i want to hear that yeah I I don't even participate that much in my own, except every once in a while to thank everybody. It's all automated, baby. Satans. Go, go, power, Satans. Oh, there might be a funny Go, go, power, Rangers thing that was about Scientology, but I don't want to hear it. George is like, go, go, power, Satans. What the fuck? Uh, actually the woman singing in the background I like how her video froze too <laughs> she's actually her isp is kid. in on whatever the joke is See, mo what moms will do for their kids <laughs> i tell you he sounds it sounds like he has really good mom uh, at this point my mom mostly won't do shit for me i hit up my dad i'm like dad you want to help me out he's like hell yeah i'm like hey mom i i, I need some help she's like ah oh, but the cats are sitting on my lap and I'm watching a lifetime. Poor mom. <laughs> uh it's weird because when I was a kid, I always asked my mom for help. A source of support for Miriam gets called a name by juvenile attorney in the name of the Aftermath Foundation and never an apology. Shame on them. Wait, a juvenile yeah, attorney? Close. That is just I think we have a couple of them here. I think a couple people here, are, uh, at least Juris Doctors, if not uh, people who are certified by the bar, and they uh, act a juvenile sometimes here. So gross. I, yeah, there's two, at least two lawyers that hang out here regularly. George Massey, breaking news, John Aikitak is no longer a board member of the Aftermath Foundation. Well, news to me. Yeah, I guess that happened a few weeks ago. I actually just found out about it yesterday. I had been looking because... Um, you know, full disclosure, I did email him several months ago. John Atak has been a guest on my podcast twice. First interview wasn't so good. It was mostly my fault because I was a bad interviewer because it was very early on. Second interview was great, even though like my fucking power went out and my alarm clock didn't go off and I had to interview him a day later. Fantastic interview. We Some of the stuff we talked about in that interview is ended up being like, important to the ways that we talk about like online influence and um, like cults and control groups and how it how it mostly functions in conspiracy communities fucking fantastic interview mostly john atac's fault what a nice guy by the way john atac and uh yeah guys you know if people only knew what i knew and didn't talk about they give me some credit honestly oh friend come on my show and spill the tea um i had i had gone back and forth with him a few times and he did express to me johnny attack that there were things that he was very upset about with the aftermath foundation he was trying to work things out and that he himself was going to resign if things didn't change 
Get and the, shut the fuck. Who this. fucking cares? So, I'll be back. Um, I need another drink. And that way, you know, I've left. Look at Riku Campbell in charge of the I chat. Just, I didn't want to disclose that because um, I do try to be discreet, contrary to what Mitch Brisker accuses me of. But um, yeah. I guess he did step down. There's there was no announcement. There was no, you know, they did the whole hook thing like they they were gonna do with Aaron, although Aaron was the vice president and he's one of the, the founders, he and, and Luis, right? So um they were just gonna take him off the website and not say anything. But that's what they did with with Johnny Tech. And so what does that tell you guys? Because with Mike, they made it a big deal and they were like, Thank you, Mike, and made, you know, this big um departure like a really you know honorable um what do you call that george the um emeritus whatever yeah um the emeritus thing just like with child usa but um oh they didn't call it emeritus but with uh john a tech he just kind of disappeared and we just found out about it even though it was weeks ago interesting very interesting they have this way of just like disappearing people not saying anything very weird Oh, here we go. Okay. John informed me months ago he would be resigning soon from the AF board. Then then saying he was only ever going to be a temporary board member is just fiction. Oh, okay. I didn't see them say that. Yeah, that's fiction, right? Exactly. Did it from the other from another planet marilyn you are speaking out against the haters now but you don't talk about them in your videos or have dedicated shows for them no i mean i i did have quite a few about the aftermath foundation and things like that and i was trying to appeal to them and trying to be fair as possible this right now i am having dedicated shows about them because i'm sick of the shit. you know it's like i laid off of them and now we're seeing all this whole web of underground trolls that are coming out to the light and i'm going to give them a little hand cammy your daughter is beautiful she looks so much like you thank you she's a good girl loves her mama <laughs> okay i already read some of these all right you know what i, I gotta tell you something if doug if uh mark turry is touring oh dude no uh oh oh no 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 nope is is uh jumping in the mix and speaking up you know there's a problem right because he's the nicest guy one of the nicest guys i've ever met doug was right about he looks like I would have to tell him to leave my sister alone at the bar, but go ahead. Well, Alex, and that's the thing, guys, is another thing I haven't, I don't like to come. Uh, I don't know. No, nah, fuck that. Doug Kramer is uh, no longer with us. Uh, he was, he was pretty cool. Uh, I had my disagreements with him during COVID over like, health and fucking conspiracy theories, uh, but a nice person. And that's, that's actually kind of all I'm going to say. Doug said this, Doug said that, but I'll tell you, Doug, to the very, till pretty much the. Shot the fuck up. The cool, like the coolest thing Doug ever said. And if you, you, you go to his channel and the, he had Stephen Mango on, he was nice to Stephen Mango. But then he's told that something came up and he's like, I'm glad that guy beat up Aaron at the bar. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. That was the best thing he ever said. Well, not me. Yeah. The last week that I talked to him, which was about a week before. Well, I don't know. He wouldn't know that. That wouldn't Doug, no, Doug's way. Doug was it. like nice. Until days later. But he had strong he opinions, but he was nice. Alex was like a whiny, clingy girlfriend, and he just needed to get away from him. He, Wait, what? If, if I could say anything about Doug, <laughs> he was very much against the clout chasing. And he, when he realized what Alex was about, you know, he used to laugh and called him a prostrate. <laughs> And he was laughing as that. Nah, sounds like angry gay pope. The old clout goblin thing that ZDT said. Well, which I, you know, I, oh, I hate ZDT. I don't really fuck all these I people. Hate people. But you know, I hate what he represents. Hey, can we fire the anti-Scientology community after this video is over? Because like we're 
what, seven weeks away from the new year? And, uh, Should we fire the anti-Scientology anti community for the rest I of the year? I have some compassion for Alex for that, but yeah, Doug didn't like him. And, and Alex claiming that they made amends, it must have been like hours before he went missing because before Doug passed because uh, you know up until the last week he was not an Alex fan whatsoever. What the fuck? And Marisa can tell you he wasn't not an Alex fan. Were you monitoring this motherfucker? Like yo, what the fuck? As well. Oh. John A. Tech's interview with Mike Rinder was total bunk. Yeah, I really like John. I mean, until that, I was like, what? Are you kidding me? That really, I was very, very disappointed. Really was. Lori plays question. Is Alex doing good work to take down Scientology or is Alex doing good work to build up Alex? Uh, both. Yeah. Um yeah let's talk about that let's talk about that because I'm, i don't know all the ins and outs of uh what he's doing but no i don't either but i asked him i mean he's not all that he's not all that it's like why are we so focused on one person yeah but i don't think he's all that like what does somebody got to be all that well, what do you mean i'm not all that I, actually i am Marilyn. i'm all that and if you have me on your show i could explain to you what's going on in just a few minutes and I would be open to your questions and the questions from your chat. I'll even show up sober. And in, in one country. And granted, Scientology is evil and it's doing evil work in in the UK and Denmark and everywhere. Australia, the UK, Denmark, you know, of course, people, the US, you know, there's places, many, many, many countries. Right. I think that to to just be. So best I can tell, if Scientology is trying to gain a foothold anywhere right now, seems to be uh, Mexico and Central America. Constantly pumping this someone. This is just what I hear from somebody that we had on the show who had a bad connection. It was hard to talk to them. This is what I hear from them. Not one person up and propping them I tried up. tried to look and into it, actually. In a country where it's not even tax exempt. And, you know. Yeah, it does need to be. It does need to be protested in the UK. But well, fucking, he's like trying to fucking get people uh, like up in arms about this place where he lives. But doesn't he know that where other people live, it's worse? Come on, guys, like idiot! It's not all that. That's like literally. That's what she's saying right here. She's like, oh, it's not even that bad in the UK. Why is he doing anything about it in the UK? It's like, all right, lady, that's weird. You know, and he has not. He has not pioneered this. You know, she's about, doing a version of the fucking. She's doing a version of the fucking. This is going to be a bit of a stretch, but you're going to have to grant me a little bit of grace here, because the trolls are coming after me. But it's like when the, the fucking weird atheist guys, for whatever reason, would be like, "Oh well, if you were in Saudi Arabia, they'd throw you off of a building." And I'm like, "Well, I'm not in Saudi Arabia. I'm in Fremont, California, and I'm." My Muslim neighbor's house isn't even tall enough for me to fall and kill myself. Like, we have, like, lots of problems here with the thing you're doing. She's doing a version of this here. Out people like, you know, Marisa talks about um, Sam Domingo, who was related to... Who the to fuck is Sam Domingo? Placido Domingo's son. Oh, and Placido Domingo. So nobody. A uh, fail son, hopefully. Hopefully, like, a good fail son. He was a Scientologist and she came and spoke out. She was, they've never heard of, you know, the yeah, old bacon the sandwich. Old that sounds hell of, good. Um, Europe and Ireland and UK and stuff. They don't know who the hell apostate Alex is, you know? So, right. But that's fine. Most people don't know who I am either. You dumb fuck. Come on. It's it just, I don't know. I think he's going to be trying to run for some kind of office. If you ask me, um, that'd be fine with me. Minister of parliament, Alex Barnes Ross. Cool. He seems all right to me. I'd be fine. She's like, ah, oh, he's gonna get, he's gonna do this, and then he's gonna like run for minister of parliament, and then everybody's gonna vote for him, and he's going to win. Yeah. All right. Cool. Good for him. Okay. So this was the question, or that 
Aaron answered. Yeah, this is great. Somebody's asking Aaron a question in her chat. That's fantastic. Is it worthwhile reporting these hate channels to YouTube? Yeah, it really. Is yeah. Report my if I get kicked off of YouTube again, that'll be fun. It's not like I ever made any money on YouTube. Wouldn't it be cool if we got kicked off of YouTube again? I had to make another channel. I don't know. Fuck it. Uh, they're more concerned with things like copyright than they are with bullying. Believe me, they are. <laughs> Mini streets is the most effective. I agree with that. <laughs> yep. Oh, we got a marionette. Carrie J. Child rearing evolves as we understand more and more. Yep, more about childhood development. Doesn't mean those who use accepted practices in the past should be condemned under certain under current standards. Thank you. I agree with that. Yeah. Depends yeah. on what they said you should do. Like at some point you got to take a little responsibility for yourself. Oh, back in my day, everybody was beating their kids. So I was beating my kids. I'm like, no, you just beat your kids, dude. Like, I don't know what to tell. You just beat your kids. It seems bad. Like, oh, you're judging it by today's standards. I'm like, I guess so. What day is it where you are where you're talking to me right now? Because when we know better, we can do better, right? Those who know better Let's do get better. My series on TikTok about the runaway girls has over 200,000 views, spreading awareness. Awesome. Yeah, this is stuck in fucking. Ah, uh, yeah, this is the fucking problem. They're all in raising awareness mode. They've been raising an aware. They've been raising awareness for like nine years now. And they find out Alex. Alex is trying to talk to like ministers of parliament and shit in uh, in the UK, trying to interact with the government. Whether or not I think that it's useful. Now they're mad because this guy's trying to move on to step two of the three step process. Right? They're raising awareness, and this guy over here is trying to move on to step two, where he tries to do something about the thing that you you all have been raising awareness. Somebody should do something about this. Ooh, not you, Alex. Not you. Somebody else should do something about this because there's value in staying in the raising awareness phase if the boogeyman is dying because in the raising awareness phase y'all can make money and even if you don't care about money you can get clout because you raised awareness about this thing and then when it dies you can claim victory over its carcass when all you were doing was raising awareness about the thing in the first place oh no oh they're they Hemp Limb Fresh, I don't want to spend too much time on it. They don't like Leo Remini anymore. That's it. They don't like her. Uh, she unfollowed their lord and savior, Aaron Smith Levin. Yeah, I'll totally check that out. It's, um, what are you on you on, on TikTok? Are you, is it Liz Liz Gal Gal? Let me know. But yeah, definitely check that out, everybody. And you're doing good work. You're doing good work, honey. I'm Proud of you. doing work. This is work. I could be hooking up right now. Hey, uh, Peter. Hey there. I reached out to Claire, begged her for a terminal to talk in my area. She had what a terminal to talk in my, no what does that mean? She had no one and never followed up. What, begging for a terminal to talk. What does that mean? Ma'am, ma'am, you're doing a YouTube show. I could be wrong, but I don't think she's going to tell us what that even means. I have I know more about Scientology than anyone should reasonably know about it. I don't know what, what the fuck they're talking about. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, that's really sad. Hmm. She's not going to explain any of this. Listen, your kids remind me of mine. Which is a person? This means person? All right, whatever. And forged in the flames of hardship, risen like Phoenix, simply good people. We can be damn proud of them. Absolutely. I mean, the fucking, this is, this is uplifting. I love that. Thank you. Somebody in her chat has to talk about me again. 
cats, bats, and flowers. Hi there. No, defending yourself is not allowed. You must acquiesce, agree, apologize. Because you. Well, that's what you're asking the other people to do. Lived experience means nothing. Like, it's fine. You like the other people, and I by that I mean like me and I guess Pete and fucking Juco and fucking Mrs. J and Liam. I don't know. It's just the other people. We're like literally just other people. Hello, fellow terminals. Like, I'm not asking this lady to apologize for. Like, I could explain all this to her. She wouldn't like it, but she wouldn't get mad at me. I could explain all this to her in like fucking five minutes. And only the trolls know the trolls. Yeah, exactly. That's what they would like to think, right? Oh, this is a good point. Okay. Let's read this. I think this is a very good. Oh, this is right. Liam is afraid to get rid of Mrs. J because Mrs. J, Mrs. J has left a path of destruction on the fucking internet. Mrs. J is a powerful internet force. Liam will not get rid of Mrs. J as a fucking moderator because then Mrs. J is coming for Liam. Like. No. Mrs. J is like a mean, nice troll lady that I know through the internet. No. Mrs. J's not coming for me or for Liam. Mrs. J isn't coming for any of you. She's just making fun of you. That's all she's doing. Maybe he's afraid to get rid of her because she'll come after him next. Uh oh, Mrs. J well, might make uh fun of fucking Liam. What would the world come to if Liam did something that was make fun of a bull? <laughs> Which he probably does. We all do that. And then Mrs. J made fun of Liam. It would be a fucking, it would be this, we would have a, we would have like a civil war because uh, Mrs. J had made fun of Liam. Um. I tell you what. I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure Mrs. J has cracked a joke at my expense during, uh, like, in the chat during my show before, and I'm fucking furious about it. Alex, if you get rid of her and she comes after you, I'll defend you. How's that? And uh, against Mrs. J, Mrs. J, I love you. You're funny. <laughs> You're the gift of gab. But she's trying. I don't. I, I. I'm. You know what? Fuck it. Explaining what's happening here is going to make all of us stupider. Nah, she doesn't want to mess with me because uh, I, I'm like a dog with a bone, and anything she does. Mrs. J would talk to you. Mrs. J would go on your channel. But no one thing about Mrs. J is she will go on your channel. I'll expose it. That's all. Because so I can be calm. I can keep calm and, and carry on. I won't call her any names. I won't make fun of her purple hair. You would make fun of her purple hair? Why would you make fun of somebody dying their hair purple? You or stupid. anything. Oh. You know, I won't call her a piece of shit. But I'll make But you could. Life. I've called people shows and called them a piece of shit before. It was great. The world knows what she's up to. So, uh, you know, what do you yeah. mean she's up to? She's like That's disagreeing with you and making videos, making fun of you. Uh oh, like the fucking Cuban Missile Crisis. That is a good point. That is a good point. And I wouldn't put it past her, but that in fact, I should tell her I'm going on her show and then I should pipe Mrs. J in onto her show. So she thinks she's talking to Gay Dave, but she gets Mrs. J instead. I certainly don't have that kind of technology. Could never do such a thing. It's not simple to do such a thing. It's not a reason to um, to bow to her and to tolerate her. Wait, to tolerate her? We have no problem. Mrs. J is in the chat here all the time. Totally tolerable. Easy to tolerate Mrs. J. Oh, in fact, she can kick people out of my chat. She's a mod here, too. And, you know, let me put let me put this out there, too. And it's been public because people have been in the chats talking about things. Uh, 
poet himself said that he had a friendship with her. He used to have a lot of fun streaming with her. But as soon as she got on this, hey, Aaron wagon and uh, that she was late. I don't even, Mrs. J, you were late probably on the hater. I was, we were so, we were so early on the hate Aaron wagon that we had fucking two years of his track record easily at our fingertips to talk about in 2023 when we wrote the first article. Media went first time we fucking played a video of him. She's like, I don't like him. <laughs> it was weird. And, and he wouldn't, he he wanted to do it with her. He wanted hate on Aaron with her. She got rid of him. She kicked him to the curb. And Hell yeah, Mrs. J. Fuck yeah. Wait, who's she talking about now? Mrs. J was like, oh, you're not going to hate. Aaron seems to be getting himself into fights and going on like white supremacist anti-Semitic television shows. I don't want anything to do with him. And if you do, I don't want to hang out with you. Horrible. Horrible, horrible judging people on their fucking behavior. This hate Aaron wagon, and and he wanted. I'm on the hate air. I built the hate Aaron wagon. He he wanted to do it with her. He wanted hate on Aaron with her. She got rid of him. She kicked him to the curb, and that's disgusting. That's just not right. But who is Mrs. Mrs. J? Is just like a commenter and like a chatter. Like nothing wrong with being those things. I'm just a talk show host. Like what do you mean kicked? What was Miss J, Mrs. J in charge of here? How did how did Mrs. J do anything to anyone here? Because it was probably like piss off. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. The Brits have it over us, Californians. Piss off and get the fuck out of here. I mean the same thing, but piss off is just two syllables. That's not right. So um, you should be ashamed of yourself, Abby James. It's in the purple hair. Is the only, I love the hair. Yeah, I think it's beautiful. Oh, she's like me, actually. Um, I, I like her she's necklace. Nice. Yeah, she's not very nice, but her hair's nice. I agree. I don't know. Like, not very nice is kind of cool. Like, I don't like this. I, oh, she's not very nice. Well, what do you mean? She cracking jokes about people she thinks are stupid or is like, if she drives by, and sees that your car, you have like a flat tire. Does she stop behind you to come up to you? And be like, ha ha, you have a flat tire and then leave. Mrs. J would help you with your tire or call somebody or whatever. Okay. okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna thank you everybody for all your comments. I think I'm gonna wind down here because we're over an hour. But oh my yeah, god, so, what are we watching um, next? I'm not done yet. Wait, I thought yet. you were done. No, I love your hair. 